Hello, hello, everyone. Webcam goes on. Flips for a second initially. Excellent. Okay. Clicking things. Clicking things. Do I sound like a robot? Am I good? You good? You sound like a robot. Go Perfect. Away. I love being a robot. All right. As as you do. Ah. Oh. Weird. Okay. I wish I wish the little uh. The little bar at the bottom of YouTube's music was a little easier to control. Is your headset broken again? Oh shit, you can't hear me say that, can you? Uh. Ah, oh, wonderful. Awesome. Uh, we can't hear him. Good start. Good start. I don't think there's any alternatives. Not that I can think of at least. Let me put my headset. That is no point now. Any hoots. Uh, we'll just jump into things and see how this plays out. Anyway, yes, we are now testing the system Fate Core, and in doing so, we're heading to space for a weirder, crazier, more uh, gonzo setup where we don't take things too seriously. Uh, Aldris here is a space bird wizard. Uh, Ryder, you are the, you, I, I don't think you said greatest bounty hunter, yeah, just top, top, uh, top oh, of class. Oh, no, I'm the greatest bounty hunter. Oh, you, one of, just one of. Have to have some, uh, just a little, little, he, If he thinks he is, that's his right to think I'm so. Mine. This is true. I'm this is true. <laughs> this is true. Uh, we have a Georgiana, who is, uh, difficult to describe. I guess if I sum it up, she sounds pretty weird. Lollipop loving, wanderlust, space racing mech pilot. And then Nara, the ship's mechanic, among other things. I say ship's genius. That's probably too far from the truth. It's okay, you don't have to be modest. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, while we are waiting for uh, Mr. Aldris to come back. Hopefully, he can actually fix his headset. Come it's on. funny. Hey, there we go. Ooh. Just in time. Can you hear us, good sir? For now. For now. Wonderful. Did it just randomly stop working? Yep. Excellent. I, I, I am, I'm very certain that anytime someone hits the stream button anywhere in the world, something breaks. It was fine for like two days. Yes, exactly. And I didn't, stream, days. I didn't stream for two days. But the second I stream. Shit hits the fan, as you do. Near the end of our D&D session, started shit in bed. Because <laughs> it knew. You guys, are you guys having fun? You having fun? Too damn bad. Time to go do no something fun. else. No fun for you, I'm sorry. Already, but yes. Anyway, all the same, we shall indeed begin our game. So we're all new to the Fate system. Uh, we're kind of just figuring things out uh, here and there. It is definitely interesting. It is incredibly flexible. So I will occasionally be looking over the side to reference some rules and such, but we should be pretty gravy. All right. Uh, I guess to quickly set the scene, um, Dirt will judge and I'll walk out for a moment. Drink. But uh, yeah, she's the ship's pilot. Ryder's the captain. Aldris is like the difficult to describe again. Local lore keeper, I guess. The the last Birdman in the universe. And then Nara's. All just as cool. He, he just increases the ship's cool value by like a good amount. I think that's what we need sometimes. You really do. I mean, if you don't have one anthro on your team in space, you're doing something wrong. You need at least one alien. So true. I mean, one of you I could be an alien. This is uh, his designated position. His his role is the just cool the cool anthro. The cool anthro. Yeah, exactly. The one that really <laughs> likes. Excellent. Uh, already, but indeed. Moving forward, our group of bounty hunters, I guess to quickly set the stage in that sense, Nara, you used to work for a group of ne'er-do-wells. Uh, not the nicest people, to put it lightly. Well. I don't talk about that. Precisely. <laughs> uh, you essentially, I think what we decided is you were hanging out with them for the time being, uh, basically until you somewhat discovered, hey, they have this really crazy... 
uh, core, this power source, this this something that they got their hands on, and you just couldn't keep your hands off it. It was just too damn I mean, interesting. I, uh, I see an opportunity, I take it. Yeah, can't fault you for that. And they're kind of douchebags anyway, so it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> so you yoinked it. Uh, things happened. Connections were made. And now you're on Ryder's ship, the Kabuto. And oh, you yeah. installed this drive, this... I don't think we described what it looked like, maybe because it defies explanation. That's always fun. Maybe it's always shifting and changing. But you installed it into the ship, and it makes it absurdly fast. It can repair itself. Um, most ships are fitted with some form of AI, but it's gotten eh, maybe somewhat sassier. Maybe a little more self-aware. Uh, it sort of knows what's going on uh, more so. Uh, sometimes maybe it takes control out of your guys' hands if, you know, for whatever reason, it turns. Man, this music's like weirdly chill. I guess that, that's technically fine. Um, but yes. That's essentially what's going on there. But because of that... Uh, oh, I was also going to say, uh, I thought this was a fun idea. The system, the uh, core, uh, basically what powers it is precious resources in some way, shape, or form, which is why the group, the Nar was in, wasn't using it, because it wasn't efficient to do so. You basically have to throw it's, it's a literal money pit, and that's not efficient. And after you guys discovered this, it was a little too late because it's permanently attached to the Kabuto. So because of that, I guess fortunately for Ryder, you guys are bounty hunters. You're hunting bounties. And with bounties comes money. And money powers the ship. And everyone's happy. Ship goes, bounties are bounted, <laughs> whatever you do. Bounted? Exactly, you bound them. You bound them up. Um, and uh, yeah, so our group is basically just going from bounty to bounty, from planet to planet, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, just trying to make sure the ship keeps going and this group does not catch up to Nara. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how much you've told everybody. Like, they probably know you yoinked it because, you know, it's 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 different. And maybe they're, yeah, like, I mean, somewhat aware you're I being mean, followed. I, well, you know, I'm not going to hide it. That's fair. I'll, I'll definitely put that ball it's in your court. I'll, I'll definitely, you, you decide how uh, aware everybody is of, I said, the issue, the matter at um, hand. I think that they can be aware if they want to be. Perfect. Okay. So everybody knows, but guess what? We have a cool ship, so no one's angry. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I also yeah. forgot to mention. Uh, this campaign started off as let's do mechs in space. So yes, everyone else has a mech mode. That, 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 that's actually how it started. So <laughs> uh, indeed, Good. and you can click on their tokens. <laughs> mech, Ugh. they look sick. Anyway, uh, and you can dance as well. That's a very important mode of the mech. All right, so moving on, our team indeed needs cash, and in that. We had a session zero where you guys fought the, uh, the, what, the Brillo boys to go pick up a package of strange worm meal food, and it was delivered. You guys got some money. Maybe not as much as you guys deserve, but all the same. You got some money. The ship's still going. And now, we're heading back to uh, a planet to pick up on their job. Uh, long into the night, the Kabuto... As I mentioned, Georgiana, you are the pilot, but the Kabuto can, if you need to, drive itself. It is a very, very fancy way. It better be. The I mean, you're, you're throwing a bunch of money and shit into it. Yeah, I would, I would hope so as well. <laughs> Great. Hmm? And what planet are we headed to? You are headed to the uh, Umehuda system. And the planet you're going to, I'm using generators for this. <laughs> Uh, nice. the, the planet you guys are headed to is going to be... Uh, let's see. These, these are always fun. Stroy. 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 S-T-R-O-I. S-T-R-O-I. And GG, how long until we're at Stroy? Uh, it'll be another six hours, Captain. Alrighty, excellent. Uh, as she says... We flash back to six hours ago when, when Gigi told Ryder that. And in the now, we are arriving to Stroy. <laughs> are we there yet? We are there yet. Fortunately, we can just warp Yes, there. Captain. You can stop whining. <laughs> 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 
swear this planet better have some hot alien babes. Which planet doesn't have hot alien babes? Don't. This is space. They come with the territory. <laughs> Alrighty, this is a large, rocky planet that uh, tends to, when in or out of, when in season, uh, tends to have very high temperatures. Uh, fortunately, though, the planet has somewhat of a, a bubble that will protect it from these high temperatures when in season. Good thing for us, that is not currently the case. It also has a very large, complex ring system uh, spiraling around it. So during the not to summer season, uh, Story is actually quite habitable. Currently, habitable. Maybe in, uh, what is it, three Story months from now? Less so. But all the same, we land the Kabuto on Stroy. I'll go ahead and just type everything in here. And head off. We land, as per usual, and the four of you disembark from the Kabuto. Looking around the hangar, you see there are other various ships. Uh, some are just here to work. Some are here to drop off standard cargo and such. Others probably here for the same reason you are. Maybe not the same job, but for the same reason. Uh, story is relatively calm when it comes to some planets. Uh, as you guys know, some of the well, riskier but better paying locales uh, were you to head there, or maybe the seedy underbelly, um, that definitely, definitely pays well, like I mentioned. But uh, watch your ship. Maybe keep a person or two behind, uh, lest you return and, well, I guess you're walking. I would just like to say... Yes. That I, as somebody who was part of the seedy underbelly, I would know what to look out for. I agree. I think you would too. So, nobody's stealing anything from me. Sounds like a damn plan. Also, yes. my security system is very inept. Yeah, so, so for you guys... Not for long. For you guys, <laughs> uh, not much to worry about. For others, somewhat to worry about. Uh, regardless, e even if the security system is... Uh, Spicy, you don't really want people touching your baby. Understand. So, the change of music. I guess that was a good time for that to uh, go ahead and pause. We head into the city. And as we do, lights are everywhere, flashing. Very exciting. Uh, purples and greens and blues. Life to the left, to the right. People hawking their wares. Various foods that maybe at one time were unfamiliar to you, but uh, maybe, unfortunately, are somewhat familiar to you. Uh, as you're walking by one stand, you can actually see some of the worms that you just recently delivered. And most of you shudder, as this is not something that is... It's made for consumption, but maybe not by you specifically. Uh, we head forward as we uh, round the corner <clears throat> and looking about uh, you guys see the location rider you were told about uh, it is god sorry hard to pronounce um let's do a new name i'm having fun with these random generators and these names are impossible to pronounce <laughs> uh teev teev's terrace Teve. Yeah, Teeves Terrace. Why the hell not? Oops. Oh, it does not populate. That's annoying. There we go. All right, and in this location is where we are to meet our quandary and receive our mission. What do the four of you do as you enter? Thieves Terrence is what exactly is it again? It is part club, part well. You all know its real purpose, but for most people, it's a club. It's a place to hang out, drink, do stupid things. Hopefully, leave in one piece. I'm gonna look I'm for a dance partner. <laughs> can I, uh, while they're doing that, can I like, you know, pace the place? Uh, sure. What, what exactly are you looking for? I just want to, like, memorize the layout in case I need to know. Okay, so you're primarily just looking about to 
in case so you're not looking for any like one particular person you're looking for a general over right yeah anybody Perfect. who might look suspicious or okay in uh, the know i would say just roll me notice to start with Beautiful. I have too many tabs up. I can't even see what I roll. <laughs> a three. That is actually good. Though. That's yes. so good. <laughs> yes. Uh, so for reference, an eight is effectively as high as you can roll. Um, if you okay. look at the, yeah, if you look at the, I think I gave it to you guys, the cheat sheet. A zero is mediocre. That's basically everybody. A three is good and an eight is legendary. If you roll anywhere near an eight, that is basically the epitome of holy shit you win. Um, so for reference, that is very, very, very good. Um, okay. Yeah, the, 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 in, in the way the game scales, you're not necessarily looking at the ladder, I believe is what they call it. You're more so looking at what you're currently rolling in your current situation. Uh, so I would say because you have been here before, uh, Nara, the relative difficulty of scoping out the area, it's on a sliding scale. It was like a, a one, a zero, not really too bad, mm -hmm. especially for someone like you. Uh, looking about, you see one or two exits in the back. Uh, as per usual, there are guards there. Uh, this place doesn't really, not really too many fights and such, but uh, not really the best place to pick one, uh, as you'd be gunned down relatively quickly unless you could find another exit, usually through actually the entrance or maybe one of the various windows. Mm -hmm. uh, looking about, you can obviously see the bar. Uh, there are many dancers of various everythings. I won't go into describing them, but if, if, if it's fancy, you're, you're, you're fancy. <laughs> it's their dancing. Fancy's my fancy, <laughs> all right. Yes. Uh, Georgiana, you said you're looking for a dance partner. Uh, what are your standards? Low. <laughs> yes. Uh, anything that knows how to move the tips. Okay. Anything oh. that can breathe. Oh, perfect. Um, are, are you looking just to dance, or are you looking to... Uh... For now, just dance. Just to dance. Okay, excellent. <laughs> For now. Uh, I would say go ahead and give me a, go ahead and give me a notice roll as well. There are the, the the flashing lights and such on the dance floor make it a little hard to see things, so I'll, I'll leave that difficulty at a one. Georgiana is focused on this. She knows what she wants. We're looking for optimal dance partners. Yes. Yeah. So it's actually easier to roll through the the fate utility thing if you want. All right, perfectly right down the middle. Uh, so less so a failure and more so a, maybe you won't find the optimal dance partner. Georgian gets the feeling that someone, someone on the dance floor can actually cut a rug. But unfortunately, someone. her eyes were not able to meet theirs. And instead you meet someone who is dancing alone. They have three arms, two, one jutting out of their chest. Sorry, didn't mean to do that. Just testing the dice, they look pretty nice. Ignore that. <laughs> uh, you see a, a being with uh, two claw-like arms uh, dancing by itself currently. It looks like it's covered in some form of carapace and has a third arm coming out of its chest. Um, in no way is it equipped with any weapons or such, and it's wearing uh, what is a traditional, for its people, uh, dance uniform, if you will. Very colorful. Uh, its wings are painted and arrayed in a way to uh, bring forth mates and or dancing partners. Like a peacock? Like, like a, a peacock. bird of paradise? Similar, but a bug. Yes. Nice. So you see a bug person just going nuts, Georgiana. Sure. All right. You swing on in and begin dancing with this bug person. And uh, they kind of pull their third arm back as they're dancing with you, because normally this is like their, their gripping arm, like holding onto their dance partner, maybe, pick, maybe picking you up and like doing some fun moves with it and whatnot. Uh, but as of current, he will respect your space as uh, anyone that gets too handsy here or too weird. Well, as I said, there are guards. Also, you look mm, aggressive is the wrong word. You come up to them in a very confident way. Okay. So that, that's accurate. That is very accurate. They know what you're here for. So Georgiana, you begin to dance. Uh, Aldris and Ryder, what are y'all doing? I'm going to the bar. All right. Same. Uh, side note, Georgiana, the music I linked in chat, I think you would like it is it, it's dance music. Oh my. It's good, yes. Alrighty. Uh, you said you both head to the bar? Yeah. Alright. Excellent. Uh, as you head up, you see some people actually already arm wrestling. Uh, it's all jovial and fun. 
for now. They definitely had far too many drinks because you hear uh, plenty of curses and slurred words as someone uh, is very quickly the victor. Cheers jump across the crowd and everyone up front as uh, apparently the deal was everyone gets a free drink at the table. Not bad. Free drinks are handed out and the winner kind of walks away holding their wrist just, ah, blah, 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 just, just just cursing to themselves as they walk off. Uh, the winner kind of like, yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, the well, bartender I'm about, I'm about begins to, back to look uh, around. Aldris, and I'm going to be like, that was weak. The bartender turns your way, looking to Ryder and Aldris, and says to you, Greetings. What can I get the two of you? Sounds uh, like an evil man. Person. <laughs> um... This figure is hunched over, its head essentially Do protruding any... from its chest. Do you got any, uh, earth whiskey? Mm, indeed I do. Hell yeah, hit me with some of that. Upper stalker lower. <laughs> what? You got the money. Uh, of course I got the money, man. Hey, he gives what a, you presume is a smile and uh, begins to sort of uh, look down. You hear some glasses clink together as he pours you a quick whiskey, looking now to Aldris. I'll have whatever the most popular is. Uh, he looks at you for a moment and says, Are you sure about that? Yep. All right. He slides the whiskey over to you, uh, Ryder, and then turning around uh, quickly, he kind of shakes a bit, and you see uh, his outfit sort of shift and two more arms pop out and then two more arms pop out from that and he begins to grab uh, all these various things and mixing and mixing and mixing and turning and th th throwing things in the air and whatnot and initially no one really says anything uh, but after a couple seconds some folk in the crowd are like oh is he making a oh shit he is oh no what and uh you see various slimes and such added to this concoction the drink is growing larger and larger and larger this cup is far too large for just a drink uh, but you're actually noticing that the matter, the liquids inside this drink are both expanding and then shrinking and then expanding and then shrinking with everything that he adds to it. There is fire, there is ice, it's frozen for a second. He spins it in the air and the cup just like floats there for a good 20, 30 seconds, just spinning and basically mixing itself midair. And he turns to you like, <laughs> and then he looks oh, back over to it. He sure wanted the weirdest drink. He catches it and shaking it a few more times, shaking it a few more times. He produces a shot glass and it is just like drip, 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 like four drips or so. It is barely even a shot. Aldris and he slides it over into you and says, have fun there, buddy. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to fling him a coin for the whiskey. OK, uh, the general way to uh, pay people here, you guys will have uh, cards and you, you can have it on, on your wrist or something. Uh, it depends on where you want to keep it, basically how quickly you want to pay for shit. Um, but credits and such, you just kind of boop, and then boom, it's paid for. Um, okay, so I'll, they don't really deal with uh, physical. I'll boot my thing then. Okay. Uh, there's actually a, a payment receptacle, uh, effectively every like five or so feet. Uh, so even if you, uh, well, let's just say these are kind of put here in this proximity and in this number, uh, primarily because if people don't want to pay, well, they can, you know, you guys have been here before, uh, they can scan uh, various drinkers and eaters and uh, party goers and such and if you don't have any form of payment on you well if you do they'll just take payment without your permission um if you don't have fun nice do, do i see any hot alien babes at the bar everywhere they're all over the place dude you got uh, you got green you got blue you got chicks with wings i'm gonna go up to the blue chick big girl small girl you got everybody i'm gonna go absolutely to the, everybody the spicy blue senorita at the all right bar. As you head over to the spicy senorita, Aldris, what do you do? He's my the, wingman. The, the drink is staring at you, <laughs> at your wingman. Because <laughs> he has wings. Painful. But I didn't hear it because I'm not over there. So it's okay. I, th I think his mic died. Every time. He's just so stunned by that drink that he that he got knocked out, uncle, like cold, talk. mayhaps, unconscious. 
Uh, let me quickly fling it back over to Nara. After you basically checked the exits and entrances and uh, all the guards and such and the general mood of this place, where did you go to after that? You saw Georgiana go to the dance floor and you saw Ryder and I'll just go get some drinks. Uh, where on the bar? Uh, the bar is basically directly are... ahead of you to the left. Well, where on the bar are um, Ryder and Aldris? They're near the middle left. I'm going to go far right. Okay. Are you looking for anything in particular or just kind of checking? You know, I don't like to have my back to a crowd of people. So. Fair enough. Um, I just sit. Is there anybody near me? Can I sit people, in the corner? Uh, I'll put it this way. You can't not be near someone. I mean, that's fine. Yeah, you, you can. It's just uh, you have to speak with certain people and go to certain places in here. Uh, but in general, this is a very uh, bump in location. Yeah, that's fine. I'll All just right. go to the corner, and if there's somebody else near the corner and they want to talk, I'll talk. But I'll sure. just sit here, have a good time on my own. I don't see why not. Uh, alrighty, Ryder, you uh, head over to um, a blue babe who's sort of doing her thing, and uh, she knocks back her drink as you approach her. Oh, sorry, it's my my time to put the moves on. Put the moves on, indeed. Uh, I'm trying to think of something cheesy. So you, you can go for cheesy. You, you can say, you know, I, I drop a really cheesy line if you can't think of one and just roll for it. It's all good. Just say I, I, I say a, a, a cheesy pickup line. Like like horribly Wait, cheesy? Like right intentionally now. cheesy? Or... Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Wait, wait. Hold on. I have, I have, uh, I have a good one. Okay. Give me a second. Sure thing. <laughs> He's been saving this one up. I hope so. I hear him practice in the in the lounge on our ship. It's really embarrassing. <laughs> he wrote in his hand. <laughs> Hold up, I got a good one. All right. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. Hold on, it's, it's, it's opening. Can While he's thinking, Georgiana, how's your dance? Great, how are you? Um. Are, are you an aggressive dancer or? Depends on my partner. Okay. Uh, you can tell that this, this partner, that this, this bug man, this bug person is trying very hard to impress you. <laughs> They're occasionally doing flips, floating, and then flying like around you while they're doing their, their like arm dance. <laughs> so uh, while they were basically uh, alone initially while doing their dance, uh, you walking up basically lighted a spark in them and they're just going nuts. All right, well, that's more of a slow dance. Enjoy the, the, the scene. <laughs> okay. So you are? Huh? You're, you're going slower? Uh, yeah, I'm just enjoying right now. Okay, okay. I'm watching from the corner. <laughs> yeah, it's at this display. It's very I, difficult to not see Nara. I, I am quite impressed, and I'm wondering um, <laughs> if this could work. <laughs> uh, looking at their face, uh, they are not humanoid. So it's very difficult to pick up on like how they're feeling, what they're doing. I uh, see so you're more welcome to like roll to see uh, what, what's going on, or you can just soak it all in and just dance. It's all good. Doesn't matter too much. Soak. All right, soak in the dance, Ryder. You have your cheesy soaker. pickup line. What? Oh, I thought uh, Judy was gonna say something. Who's thinking about it? She's watching this bug man just lose his shit and dance with her. All right, so I, I walk up. Okay. And I'm like, All right, this is not gonna be the best one. It, good, That's cheesier fine. the better. Go for it. <laughs> I'd be like, if I could rearrange the alphabet, I'd put you and I together. <laughs> Alrighty. She looks at you for a moment, and you get the feeling that this joke does not translate into her language. Uh, go ahead and roll me rapport. <laughs> her rapport is okay. Uh... Basically, rapport is charisma. Your general conversation skills. Okay, not awful. Uh, not great, but not awful. She cracks somewhat of a smile. And uh, while you can tell that she definitely probably didn't understand your joke, uh, all the same, 
she's willing to open conversations with you, Ryder, and you, you two just start chatting about things. All right, yeah. Aldris, Aldris, I think he is uh, in the void currently. I think his mic exploded. Uh, did he respond to me saying Mike did? No, he didn't. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, yes, I, I do like that one. Do you live are you from Mars? Because you look out of this world. Those are always fun. Alrighty. Uh, anyway, we'll say you guys party for a reasonable amount of time, but we all know why we are here. So who wishes to initiate the job? Well, you see, I would, but unfortunately, I'm busy at the moment. <laughs> I, I try to catch his eye from across the counter, from across, okay. the, from across the room or whatever. Is there any way to, like, send you, you, daggers? You're trying to get his attention, basically? What, yeah. My attention? Yeah. yeah. Are you intentionally like, ignoring Ryder, or are you, uh... Uh, I'm gonna look over... Am I talking to her in, like, alien, or can she kind of understand me? There are... An alien. <laughs> yeah, so you, you can choose to speak in... Obviously, you know, languages are difficult to learn, as they are in uh, our time. Uh, universal translators are very, very common in this world. Oh, okay. I probably have one of those because I probably Every, everyone would have one. one. You're you're a professional, damn it. And you want to get laid sometimes, so you know it's good to be able to speak some yeah. language. Yeah. All right. Anyways, uh, <laughs> uh, I'll look at Nara and I'll, I'll give her the the one uno momento finger. <laughs> Wait, okay. I raise my eyebrows really high and like giving him a look, <laughs> like, and then I <laughs> I tap my my wrist like time's ticking. But I, but after that, I'm like, all right, <laughs> I'm, that's I'll, enough energy. I'll give her, I'll give her like, uh, like I'll, I'll be like, all right, uh, face babe, I'll, 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 I'll catch you on the flip side, and I'll walk over to Nara. Okay, uh, Ryder, you finish your your conversation. You head over to Nara. Georgiana, how's your dance going? Are, are you getting into it now? Or are you are you watching? Can I see there's another of this uh, this creature's kind around? Uh, it's difficult to tell. Once you're on the dance floor, they almost intentionally blind you with a light. Uh, I, I would say roll me a notice. Did I click it? Sorry, I clicked it twice. Uh, you did, and that first one's really good. So yes, uh, actually looking around, you see a relatively lonely looking bug drowning their worries about four tables down to your right. Uh, I'm gonna scooch a little closer. Okay. Tap him to get to make sure I have his attention, then point to the the lonely one. Uh, you're uh, you're scooching closer to the dancer. Yeah. All right. It, then this is borderline dangerous. Their arms are whipping all over the place. Uh, Georgiana, you go to tap, and then he does like quick spin. Like God. Okay. And <laughs> you like you you wait, but once you get your moment in, you like sneak in and give him a, a quick like, hey, I want to talk to you. Tap. Uh, because like I said, lights, 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 action, action. People, people are grinding up against each other. It's getting, it's getting sweaty for those people that can sweat. Um, other people are sweating through their, their tongos and you pause them for a moment. Like, yo, dude. And they kind of give you like a, and then you look and you turn over and you're trying to point them to the lonely one. They look to the lonely one, then look back to you. That's a her and you're going to get lucky tonight. They kind of so give you a look. You could tell they were assuming I there was the a dance is going well. there, there was something going on here. Yeah, yeah. Go, go ahead and <laughs> uh, go ahead and roll me rapport with this bug. See if you offend them or not. I don't think it's gonna work physically. Okay, not bad. As you say this, the bug kind of gives you a look of like, mm, and then looks over to the, to the other bug, and their eyes meet for a moment. And it's just like, ooh, baby, a little way. <laughs> And a, a, a moment, they are connected in time, and the bug looks to you and puts his hand on your shoulder and says, I'm sorry, I don't think it would have worked between us. <laughs> That's all right. I play matchmaker sometimes. You are a wonderful partner. As they <laughs> straighten their back and kind of, mm, and slowly saunter over to the more uh, lonely looking bug in the corner. And you see very quickly, they, uh, they sort of hit it off. He starts off slow, and then they begin to discuss something as they kind of amp each other up and then uh, jump to the dance floor and begin uh, cutting a rug, if you will. Cutting a rug. 
All right, Mr. Aldris, right, is your... Uh... I'll saunter over to the bar. All right. Uh, Aldris, is your mic still dead? Lean towards yes. That is really unfortunate. Damn. All right. Uh, to the bar where Nara and Ryder are. Mm -hmm. All right. I will say this entire time, Aldris has just been staring into the face of this drink of like, do I? Do I? <laughs> I already paid for it. Wow, the pomp and circumstance. All right. The three of you are now together. And as I mentioned, you know why you're here. Uh, you know if you wish to speak with Teeth, you are more than welcome to do so. Uh, you just need to go to one of the upper uh, terraces of this location, as there are multiple, uh, and you will be granted an audience with them. I'm all, when I walk up to Nara, I'm like, I'm, I'm just going to be like, man, you're killing my vibe. I was going somewhere with that one. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> ah. You know, you're a... Uh... You're a bounty hunter. I don't. I don't. Th I think that's your skill set. Wow. But yeah. So. Purple. Come <laughs> on, Nara. You know it's nicer than that. Everyone's we'll got a bounty, chance. <laughs> and then I'll go get me a blue or green check. It's all good. <laughs> Yeah, I, you know what? Uh, I like that time, blue one over next there. Next time, next time, after this is finished, the, you know, the whole thing that we're not talking about, I won't bother you at all. You do your thing, no problems. I just, uh, I'm a little antsy. All right, well, let's, uh, let's go get this bounty. As you say that, Nara, you get a tap on your shoulder. I turn around. You turn and see a giant person in the shape of an ant. And they're looking down at you. It says, what's that supposed to mean? Antsy. <laughs> you know, like my, uh, my, my relation, like my aunt. You know, aunt, uncle, the human thing. Multiple, their multiple eyes narrow at you. Mm, the human traditions. Not familiar. Mm -hmm. And they kind of look you over real it quick and then... It is pretty strange. I understand that it could seem a little offensive, but I promise that that is not the way they're kind of look used. like one of those bugs on our planet. They're, like, really tiny. He shoots back a, a drink real quick, and one of his eyes narrows as the other widens, looking right at you, Ryder. Tiny, uh... Are they good? I'm not familiar with your Earth planet. I don't know. They can't talk. Mm. You're clearly superior. Clearly. <laughs> and he turns to continue uh, with his drink, speaking with his compatriots. How big is he? A uh, little past... Well, he's currently sitting, but he's very clearly... Uh, taller than six feet, and he's very wide. He's a very chunky ant man. Arms chunky and everything. Boy. Not he's not wearing anything. Um, his carapace isn't covered with uh, clothes. It's painted and uh, not scarred, but uh, almost as if someone were to like chisel, sort of like a tat, like a, like a human tattoo, uh, but chiseling away at the armor just enough to have a nice design. Hmm. Nice. All right. um, looking, looking about where the three of you go. So can we can we proceed to where the bounty uh, pickup is? Of course. Wherever that is. All right. The four of you head forward as you do, and as you ascend the steps, uh, looking around Teve's Terrace, it's about a four or five story building of dancing, alcohol, party, and maybe some under the table deals. You guys head up to the fourth floor, and you see just up ahead of you the final stair set, uh, the one that contains Teve himself, surrounded by various guards, and they're chit chatting with each other as the four of you walk up. What's that Teve, old chum? Uh, his guards look at you and look to each other, and then back to you. Uh, you need to say Teve. Uh, indeed. 
What's the password? Wait, did I not? I thought we walked in front of him. Uh, you walked up to his guards. Oh, shit, my bad. I thought you said yeah. we walked up to him and his guards. No, his guards. My bad. There are, there, there are multiple guards waiting in front of the stair set that leads up to T. Oh, okay. So, walking up to the guards. Okay. Hey, they... what's up? Uh, we got uh, business with Teve inside. Uh, business. Mm. Yeah, business. Who's, who is your group? Who are the four of you? Tell, tell, tell Teve Riders outside. He, he, he knows who I am. Uh, they look to each other and they kind of whip out a notepad as they kind of go through it. Uh. Uh. Oh, yours is the one ship kabuto yes yes yeah. all right yeah the greatest ship in the galaxy we know we know we know <laughs> sure thing buddy all right uh it actually does indeed look like teeves here to see you yes you may ascend the steps as they both move to the side uh the steps begin to light as you step up them uh, each footstep going forward, light, 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 purple, pulsing, uh, almost with the beat. While, while I'm, while I'm walking, I'm, I'm going to be walking like with the beat just because it's funny. Perfect. It, it's almost hard not to do this actually. Uh, like for a second you think, oh, I'll throw it off. But it's like, nah, nah, it, it feels too good to do it the right way. And as you ascend the door in front of you, uh, lights among the rim, starting from the bottom left corner, like, and then the door kind of, and you can tell it is now unlocked as it kind of eh, and swings open ever so slightly. It hasn't opened all the way. It just kind of cracked open. I'm going to push it open. <laughs> all right. As you open the door, the four of you head in. And closing the door behind you, the music does not uh, mute, but it obviously grows much more faint. Uh, there's nothing playing in Teve's room. It is... Uh, Lit normally. Uh, just some very, very, uh, it's it's more so warm, warm lighting. Uh, no crazy colors, just that usual kind of, I don't say sickly yellow, uh, but just, just, just a few lights that uh, rim the left and right. It's actually slightly hard to see in his room compared to uh, the rest of this abode. Uh, as you look about, you can tell that he most likely just finished up uh, with someone he's collecting some papers and such as Teve turns in his giant chair to you. Uh, he's in a very large uh, floating, uh, partially chromium, uh, partially lit with uh, various dull lights on the side, floating chair. And as it turns, you see Teve, a very large uh, bulbousy figure really quick. No worries. I can pause for a moment. I'm, I'm very sad that Aldris is uh, Aldris dead in the died. water. Yeah. His, uh, his he's headset. currently staring at his drink. He doesn't know what's happening. He's still down there looking at that drink and just like, do, yeah. I, do, do I drink it? No, he's not. He's not still at the bar. He has it in his hand. Oh, he brought it with him. It. Yeah, he's walking in with it. He's just like, should I drink it? I, don't I mean, know. he paid for it. He can do what he wants. I will not stop him. Ooh, baby, also, I can. I can ooh. mess with this. I have this, the, the, damn, if only I knew how to write macros, but I don't. Sad. Darn. I'm looking at this, trying to figure out how to make this less chunky. The stroke is to this, the outside. Font size should be 48, but I don't know why it's so, like, ugh. Not a big deal. Alrighty. And as you guys see this figure, uh, you see T, as you have indeed seen him before. He's a rather large, green-skinned individual, uh, wearing a coat, some sort of shirt that he's desperately trying to fit into. <laughs> T does not have arms. T barely has legs. They're kind of these two little nibs that sort of end at the end of his fat body. What's up, Teve, old chum? Uh, Teve's bowl turns to you, as Teve also does not have a head. Um, Teve has multiple tentacles that are kind of coming off from his body, and uh, four of them are 
holding a bowl with uh, two eyes in it. And the two eyes uh, look to you, Ryder, and you hear him say, Hello? Have you been? I've been doing well. And yourselves? His various tentacles are kind of moving about, uh, you know, touch, touching papers just, and... You know, trying to collect bounties. Uh, do you have a good one for me? Of course I do. Are you ready for... Mm, you sort of see, like, the, the, the liquid sort of bubble and such uh, as he kind of turns his glass around a bit, uh, holding up multiple data pads. He's reading through them, uh, multiple sheets, kind of flips through them really quick, and they kind of fuse into themselves as he uh, rolls them off to the side and kind of blah. Uh, yes, I was thinking mm, this one. He tosses a data pad uh, onto the table and slides across uh, to your group. It shouldn't be too difficult for mm, the self-proclaimed greatest bounty hunter in all of the galaxy, yes? Self-proclaimed? I don't know about self-proclaimed, but I mean, it's kind of a fact. <laughs> mm, there's oh. a lot of people out there, Ryder. Listen, those people think they're the best, but me well. and my crew are the best. I mean, there's a lot of people out there. There's gotta be one who's better than the rest. All right. I think that's... <laughs> okay, she's just saying. I'm just saying. That, that, that's not against you, know? you that she's technically saying you could be that one. No, I don't. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, he can't. He's saying there's a lot of people, but you know, maybe he thinks he's the best, whatever. But TT laughs again, and you can see the, the bubbles uh, billow up in his little uh, glass container as his eyes are sort of jutting about. He's looking at your group and looking at all the various bits. Um, of, of just data in front of him and whatnot. He kind of like clicks on something uh, as this this bit comes up and a giant screen uh, is erected to his right. He starts kind of scrolling through it and he opens a few things and then points to them. And then you can see a map uh, sort of appear in front of all of you. And he's sort of like- For the bounty? Yeah, and he's, he's, he starts like pulling through the map real quick and then he points at a planet. He says, you will be going here to Deroy. I need you to pick up something for me. Uh, can like in the description of the bounty, does it say what what like is it a person? Is it an alien? Uh, like, tra they, traditionally, they dead or tra alive? yeah. So traditionally, in the data pad has all the details, details, or at least all the de the details that they have to give to you. Um, other than that, he usually gives you a quick rundown where you can ask any questions. Within the data pad, is everything else you would need. Most of the discussions are just formalities. Uh, you do know, oh, right, that some uh, people just who, come in, grab a bounty, exactly and leave. are we looking for? Less of a who and more of a what for this one. Oh. I need eggs, Ryder. I need lots of eggs. Are, are you saying eggs? He nods, and by he, I mean, like, his entire self just kind of, like, nods at you. Correct, Ryder. Eggs. Well, there goes my head collection. All right. <laughs> I won't stop you from collecting heads, Ryder. If anyone gets in the way, I won't tell you to not. And he sort of realizes he doesn't have a neck, but he, one of his cynicals kind of come up and he motions to you like... <laughs> well, you know, I guess I'll figure out how to uh, extend my trophy room. Of course, of course. So, so how many eggs do you need? As many as you can get your hands on, Ryder. Oh, don't worry. We'll we'll get all your eggs. Hmm. That sounds absolutely wonderful. A fair warning, there will most likely be others there looking for them. So I sent a crew back there about lesser bounty hunters? <laughs> sure. Lesser bounty hunters. Probably dead ones. I sent someone there not too long ago, and they've ceased communications with me. It's more prosperous of them to bring the eggs back. They don't know what they're for. So, uh, do we need to, like, is there a certain, uh, you know, carefulness we gotta be with these eggs? Like, how delicate are they? Well, they're quite large, and their shells are thick. <laughs> So, as long as you're reasonably careful, it shouldn't be too much of an issue, Ryder. They are quite large, though. As I mentioned, he sort of motions and then 
pokes a few things on his heads up display as uh, a very large egg, maybe two or so feet tall, is digitally projected in front of you. And then he motions to that and says, they're about to that size. So how much shellings are we talking about here? Enough to make you happy. But I would only pay per egg. Of gotcha. course, expenses are on you, as per usual. Don't worry, I got, I got this in the bag. Good. Do be careful and try not to break anything. Love it. <laughs> you got it. Uh, he turns as you say that, snatching up the dead pad, and he kind of goes through more information and whatnot. You see various names and such. Information he wears does not mind you seeing uh, various bounty hunters and names and people you've caught, people you've, that are still on the run, uh, rivals, uh, other space racers you run into, Georgiana, Nari, you recognize a few names. Do I recognize uh, any names that were part of the... <laughs> yes, definitely. Uh, okay. ma mainly because they normally work above ground, which is why you join them. Uh, but they very much have an underground uh, sect that okay. they're relatively quiet about, but they feel like they don't need to be too hush hush about it just because, you know, bang bang. Like, uh, like legal front business. Uh, effectively, yeah. They they kind of front a little bit, but yeah, mm -hmm. we all know better. We're no fools. And you said the place is called what? It's called Deroy. Deroy. The planet of ice. Planet of ice, huh? Well, I guess Indeed. we are going to bring our uh, snow gear. Already, uh, as you all begin to uh, look around a bit and prepare, I assume we all leave the club. I got to first pick up me a honey. Uh, before? Before we go, yes. <laughs> okay. Listen, we don't know what's gonna happen on this mission. I, uh, I, I give you, I salute you. And I keep walking. <laughs> Alright, I, I will actually say, uh, And I got on, a good pickup line this time. Yeah, I, I will say, on that note, um, what you're doing will distract you long enough that it will put you guys at a slight disadvantage in this upcoming mission because you're spending time hooking up and not spending time um, while doing the mission. And because of that... I'll have you know, I am the, doing exactly what I need to be doing. That's kind of why I didn't uh, bother with Bugman anymore. Yeah, so, Ryder, uh, I, I will definitely invoke Haunting the Waves Distract Me, which gives you a fate point. <laughs> yes! <laughs> and remember, you guys can invoke other people's aspects. So if you say, Georgiana... Would you not be distracted at this? Or or Nara, would you not want to do this? And you go, yeah, I probably would. Um, you guys are always welcome to say no. I can always say no. I'm like, ah, that doesn't really work too much. Uh, but you guys are more than welcome to poke each other's aspects and say, or, or your own, and say like, hey, they have to be negatives, though. It can't just be like, I do this thing. There has to be some downside to it. Uh, but when you do it and accept it, you get a fate point, so. Can I, can I walk back into the bar and I just see like a light shimmer on this like, like green alien chick and it's just like in a movie where you're just like ah. yes yes the the, the waves lock. part and people are you, you feel as if you got when your eyes eyes lock the room is basically parting like the ocean and your quarry awaits you at the end and she for sees you easy pickup line <clears throat> yes she looks at you right. almost as of anticipation expecting it to be very cheesy hey girl my spaceship is ready you want to ride? <laughs> it, was that the pickup line? <laughs> she, she shrugs Do a I, bit and, and lets you know that Nora she's heard. Does Nora hear that? How, how far away is he? Good, 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 good point. Uh, I can I, just I guess, tell, though. I have, I have sensors. I mean, you know he's kind of just doing that. Um, I guess the question is to you, how close were you? But for Nara. How close were you? No, how close were you following him? Oh, I, uh, pretty closely, but like, okay, then you definitely not, I mean, I was like following to eventually, to like eventually deviate on the path. Okay. Um, uh, after you give her that really shitty, uh, pick a line, she looks at you and says, according to the second law of thermodynamics, you're supposed to share your hotness with me. 
I was gonna use another one. I just that was like the second one I saw. So perfect. Wow. So you both You're share really... your horrible cheesy lines, and <laughs> they know what they're here for. <laughs> exactly. I really do salute that. Exactly. I, I move on. Nah, she ain't messing around. <clears throat> All right. So you move on. Uh, they hook up for the time being. I uh, will just say Aldris is following you guys Noodling while staring into the face of this uh <laughs> this drink that he dares not drink. Uh, but he has it, and uh, yeah. Beth, did you drink it? I know you can't talk, but <laughs> he, he can't—he can't hear us either. Can he type? No. Uh, yeah, he can type, but he doesn't know he can. Yeah. Uh, I, I I typed if he can hear. Is he still in? Yeah, he's technically in Foundry. I have no idea actually. That just sucks. Uh, is he on? Uh, is he in Discord? He's in Discord. Yeah. He, he's still in chat, but like, if he, if he can't hear us, he can't talk either. So. Ah, oh, bummer. Yeah. But if we say talk if. Type if you can hear us. You can't even hear us. I try mm. turning it yeah. on and off again. He's literally uninstalled the program and like reinstalled it. I don't know what the hell's going no, on. Not a <laughs> yeah, shit's weird. Uh, anyway, in, in the meantime, Nara and Georgiana, what are y'all doing? You see Ryder get distracted. Uh, does she have a sister? What? Oh does the one he picked up have a sister? She has a friend. Can you have the friend? Uh, Yes. Uh, the, the, <laughs> Can the, I have a friend? The, the, the friend very much looks like, aw, alone. And then, uh, Georgiana, you saunter on up. And then her eyes light up like, ooh. Uh, do you also have a cheesy pickup line, or do you just, like, start talking to her? I'm giving her the smolder. Okay, she's smoldering back at you. You, you guys are having this a smolder my, off. This is my GG's in my crew. <laughs> Can I offer my hand and lead her away? Uh, yes, to the dance floor, or... No, uh, away. No, a back corner. Okay. Uh, a back. Okay. A, a back corner of this area or somewhere else? I don't know. Somewhere we can be alone. Okay, sure. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Jordan, she, she, she sees what you want. You see what she wants. You guys are both in, very much on the same page. Uh, yes, you, you bring her to somewhere else that's not here where you guys can be alone. Uh, Nara, <laughs> you're now alone with the bird man that's just staring into his drink. <laughs> I am. Uh... Uh, if, if the bird the man gonna do it. on the back. Okay. Um, I'm just hearing that song that, da uh, that Daniel was singing earlier. Uh, so hmm. I catch the attention of the bartender. If okay. I can, I guess. He, he looks over to you. <laughs> I'm like, do you have any What are you buying? Uh, what, what'd you ask? You, uh, you got any drinks I can take out, like a you know, margarita to go or something. <sighs> That's illegal. Uh, it is not actually, as he looks, he says, of course, is that what you'll be having? Are you trying yeah. to get a sippy cup? Wonderful. Yeah. And he quickly yeah. throws together a margarita for you in a to-go yeah. cup. Sexy. Love he looks it. to, to Aldris and kind of laughs to himself, saying that he still hasn't even touched the drink yet. Aldris kind of turns it to see if, like, it He's like maybe considers dumping it, but the drink, drink is it's like, oh, you drink it. Holy shit, you're here. He's back. He's back. He returned. Welcome back. Whoa. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. oh, well, I'm he comes back and I'm patting him on the back. All right, um, wonderful. Nice. I uh, I take the <laughs> sorry because <laughs> he asked if it was a sippy cup. I was going to say I take the sippy cup. It can, um, it can be a sippy cup if you want. Yeah, it'll be a sippy cup. Hell yeah. Um, don't don't so drop it. it. What? So you don't want to spill your drink on the go. That'd be horrible. Exactly. Like, I am, you know, I work in a fast-paced environment. Yeah. There's, there's no shame in a little sippy cup margarita. It's fine. Getting stuff, you know, on my circuit boards, absolutely terrible. Oh, the worst. Um, I take it, and I pay the guy and i give him a good tip okay whatever he, a space tip he, he gives that. you a smile at that and i'll just said uh, are you finally drinking it yep all right go ahead and roll me <laughs> oh boy uh, i want two <laughs> rolls from you roll <laughs> me physique <laughs> yeah roll me physique and will nice rip nice okay uh, you can, of course, re-roll these if any of your aspects make sense to do so. Nope. All right. Then Aldris gets to have some fun as he oh, quickly boy. shoots this boy down, and it's a little sour. It's got a little zang to it, 
and as you're thinking oh that was kind of interesting well, that was kind of interesting well, that was kind of interesting well, that was kind of interesting in terms of the flavors it just doesn't stop it just keeps going you're like okay okay why is it changing so much i, I i'm done drinking it and it just keeps going your, your tongue is just experiencing flavor town but like i want to get off mr bones wild ride flavor town it ain't stopping it's just going and going and going and you're like okay 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 and you start looking around the, the lights are just they're they're really welcoming and warm and uh they're like they speed up and they kind of slow down a bit and you, you start like kind of jamming with the music you're like all right you know what this music's pretty pretty dope i'm digging it i'm digging it and nara you look to all just and his 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 hands are up and his wings are out and he's just like oh baby oh, no. <laughs> and he's just he's just chilling to the music right now nice i lean over to the bartender and i'm like what was in that <laughs> what wasn't in that oh no I, oh no did, did you put some of whatever that was in there? <laughs> just a little bit uh, he, he sort of winks at you and collects some of the, the the bits it took him like five or so minutes to make all just his drink um but he, i he mean I, he, yeah i only want like a dime so. yeah he, he he prepares some 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 bits for you and then he kind of gets all, all that situated. Um, nice. I'm going to say, uh, Aldris, you currently have a, a a mild consequence of just, uh, you're in, you're in Flavortown right now. Flavortown? You're in Flavortown, yeah. Nice. Flavortown. It, 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 it'll go away when you're longer high, but you're currently in Flavortown. Population. Perfect. Aldris and anyone wanted. else. Yeah. And anyone else here. <clears throat> Uh, Alrighty, so he gets uh, it together. That's no, it. he's gonna be in Flavor Town for a while. So either Wait, what, you just no, you just I let him. The, oh, the drink? He can. Yeah, the drink. Oh no, you, you you're you're good. He he put it. Okay, I gave him some really extra quick. money. Yeah. Okay, he's very happy about that. Um, no, um, I, I, I'll okay. actually go ahead and say roll me. Um, where is the word? Am I blind? Resources. Resources. Yeah. Damn. Okay. Rip. You spent maybe a little more money than you intended on drinks today. Yeah, it's, you know, it's a habit. And not a habit, but it's a, uh, God, what's the word? I can't even think of it. A hazard. Yeah. Maybe, maybe you unintentionally tipped him a bit too much uh, while worrying for your friend. Yeah, it's fine. I, I'll, uh, I'll make it back. Okay. Is uh, my cowabunga time done? Um, realistically, that Georgiana, <laughs> wow, um, Georgiana and back to the ship. Yeah, yet. I say Nara's still like in the room. It's been like maybe a minute or two at most. So I would hope your cowboying time is not done yet. Oh, uh, okay. I didn't know how much time I spent. No, like a minute or two. I mean, if you want to <laughs> solidify that, oh, Ryder no, is no, the. No, no, ignore what I just All said. All right, <laughs> Ryder, the one pump chump. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, um, Nara, the stage is yours because Georgiana and Ryder are uh, getting some nookie and Aldris is having nookie really with the awesome. universe right now. Well, um... Can, can like, like since, me and, since me and Gigi, like, kind of almost did that at the same time, I, I think it'd be really funny if, like, we walked almost, like, like in the same direction and I saw her with the other chick and then and, and she saw me with the the green girl and I just like ha, 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 give her like that like yeah, smile like, like, thumbs and then we up just like, like doors ways sure so the two of you head off to have a good time before your bounty and uh Nara realistically the stage is yours because you're the only person that still has uh control over their brain my faculties <laughs> exactly um do I, I, I am getting my bounty I'm getting my yar booty exactly <laughs> Do I have like the data pad and stuff that has yeah. all that information yes. well, on it? Yeah, it, it, it's okay. readily available to your entire crew. Um, where's Aldris? He's in, Aldris in... is in the club clubbing, clubbing. as a Birdman do. So like, like, I don't see they're... him anymore. Uh, no, you can see him. He's shooting magic and shit, and like just having a good ass time. Oh my god! He's, he has no like, control over himself anymore. Yeah, of there's wings. but people can't tell because they think it's just like the lighting. Um, so it's not really drawing any unwanted attention. He's just currently maybe putting on too much of a show, but you think he's safe for now. All right. As long as I think that he's not going to, um, you know, I'll, completely I'll tank his, uh, whatever. I'll, I'll tell who? Aldris. I don't know, like 5'8"-ish? 5'8", 5'9"? Nara, how tall are you? Like 5'3". Five, 5'3", five, Gigi, how tall are you? Oh. 
I hadn't decided. Are You're you an Amazon goddess. I just, I just I'm gonna to stay six feet tall. Be a giant stay. woman. <laughs> a nice average Why five six. Uh, I'm 6'2". Oh, you're you're five six. Okay, so you're a half foot taller than real life. Yes. Excellent. <laughs> and I'm pathetic. I want to be taller than Georgiana. <laughs> <laughs> do you, do you you want me taller than Georgiana? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, you, is it by like one inch, five seven? God, yeah. Rude. Okay. Absolutely. Nice. I'm gonna be taller. Um, okay, you're five eight. No, I'm gonna be taller. <laughs> you're both ten feet I tall. Mean, Stop. Gotta, you know, I think that this is the way that it is with me and Mel. You know, I'm the an height, inch taller. The height bite. <laughs> Wait, are you actually taller I, than her? Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. No, it has to remain it's pristine. A, a it's hard. The, it's hard to be shorter than her. To be fair. The younger sibling is always taller. I mean, you say that, but I'm Girl, also like the shortest person in my friend group. So. Yeah. Oh yeah. I know, yeah. But... Well, we're both super short. Yeah. <laughs> what? Sad. Um. But a fact of life, Indeed. I could fit in a car trunk. Um. I don't know how I feel about that comment. <laughs> don't worry, Flip. kidnappers. I can fit. I know, right? <laughs> I went I'm to compact. the spy museum and you they had like, a, like a, a, a thing that was like, can you fit in this cabin? And I could. You wouldn't need but to cut my, my legs off. Could not. Like, wow, how you convenient. You wouldn't need to cut them off. I can just curl up. Excellent. Um, okay, so I, after seeing that Aldris is... Um, at least functioning again instead of staring blankly into his drink. Um, I'm going to go back to the ship okay. and I'm going to um, pour over every detail of this data pad information that we've been given All right. for the bounty. Considering you have time to do so, that doesn't require a roll or anything, you just begin reading through it basically. Uh, so long story sick. short, there are beasties on this planet that lay eggs, giant ice worms, and they are relatively dangerous. So usually the best, well, he doesn't tell you how to do it, but uh, considering the egg itself is about two feet tall, you assume giant is giant. Uh, so probably don't just go in head first, shooting things and stealing eggs. Uh, you most likely want to you know, devise a different sort of plan. Uh, but you do know that the planet itself is quite hostile. It is going to be far below freezing the entire time there, so you need to prepare for that. And so as it's he mentioned, more sorry. I mean, basically, uh, as he mentioned, other other hunters will most likely be there, and because two people are getting nookie, and the third person is uh, space racing in his oh. mind, uh, you guys will be a little late getting there. Oh, we'll be late getting there. So there's other people who are already on the same bounty. <laughs> Indeed. Maybe he should have been the one. We gotta go. Um. Okay, so I'm gonna read that whole thing and do some research on the creatures just to see if I can get a leg up on them. Okay. Uh, when you're Please. researching, what precisely are you researching? Are, are you like within your own, you know, like library information, or what are you looking at exactly? So I am. Yeah, I think I have my own library of information. Or I have okay. a lot of places that I know where to look and how to get into to research. Um, that makes sense. Like uh, maybe stuff that isn't necessarily publicly available to the, you know, any library patron. But Sure. Um, Since you're getting this from yourself, I would say you roll lore because you're reading through your own books rather than reaching out to get some contents. My lore is so low. <laughs> Uh, I will say, remember, unless you put all your stats together, um, you have one four, you have two threes, you have two twos, so you can get, you can have one more two, and you can have two more ones. So your stats aren't done yet. I'm going to do a two. Okay. And remember, we can totally move these around if it logically makes sense. If you're like, man, I am not using crafts for anything. Oh, your character I mean, does, I obviously. I feel like it would make sense if I had a lore thing for Oh, yeah, you're, you're smart. That makes perfect sense. Yeah, because lore encompasses uh, knowledge, education, history, languages, religion, and law. So, do you think that would be better as a great or just as a fair? Um, you can test it at a plus, plus one for now, and if you want for more, you can do plus two. Okay. 
And then, and then remember, uh, every time we complete a session, um, we will mm -hmm. level up twice. So. <laughs> How would I? Oh, I can do it here. So yeah, to, to increase your stat, you need to do it on your character sheet. Uh, do, you, do you know how to do that, or was it not working for you? So I have the skill editor. Okay. Did that? Oh, you did, did it. That fix it. Right, two on lore. Yes, there you go. Perfect. Yeah. All right, go ahead and reroll that. All right. Ooh, nice. juicy. All right, four. Hell yeah. Nice. All righty. While looking through your books and such, Nara, you do indeed discover some things we can share with the party when they get back here. And uh, okay. Aldris, in your universe uh, expansion state, what are you currently doing? Honestly, I probably just passed out at this point now. Okay. Uh, Aldris partied his feathers out and he just kind of juiced out on magic. So he's just laying on the ground, just still vibing. <laughs> like, he wants to pass out, but he can't. So he's just vibing. And then uh, as you vibe there, you kind of bump into something. You think it's the wall, and then you turn. You see someone else just vibing on the floor with you. Nice. And then you realize as you look around, this is like the floor section. And there's a whole bunch of people just lying on the floor, like a carpet's worth of people just vibing on the floor, just wriggling. Perfect. Alrighty, and uh, we'll say some hours, uh, some time later. I won't, I won't put a precise number on it. Uh, I'll just, you just kind of like, just come back to like the now basically and you feel like you just went on like a vision quest you saw your people you saw like all this crazy shit uh you think maybe there was something there maybe you remembered something but you're not entirely sure uh and Ryder and georgiana uh you guys have gotten your nookie Dang, dang. roll for uh std no i'm kidding no. <laughs> uh, you know, yes, actually, probably. i think that in a we're, uh, we're safe, yeah. reality where uh, there are dozens of alien species. I think that the uh, chance of alien STDs is probably higher than we would have. Oh, super you know I mean? high. Yeah. I, I, I want to say in this universe, there was a time where the alien STDs were like everywhere and like you looked at someone the wrong way because like the way they procreate isn't the same. Like they don't bump uglies. Maybe they just like, you know, <laughs> touch each other. Like, hey, like, you know, I touch your shoulder and oh, I'm pregnant. So <laughs> what? yeah, exactly. Uh, so because of that, maybe there was like an era where there was just like STDs everywhere and like people were getting pregnant on accident and it's like, so this needs to stop for like two seconds. And then like we did something and like, Birth control is much better now. Uh, people mm. can just kind of have sex and do what the hell they want to do now without worrying about their genitals exploding. So, people are happier and hornier. It's great. All right. Well, I'm doing my thing on the uh, ship, so I'm just waiting for everybody to get back so I can debrief them. Ew. All right. Ew. <laughs> 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 yeah. right, I stroll yeah. onto the ship with like my can... jacket over my shoulder with like a big smile on my face. Considering how bad those pickup lines were, I feel like my pun could have been used a lot more effectively. That pun was actually really good if it was intentional. <laughs> <laughs> lines work 90% of the time. All right. Well, not because they're good. All right. The, the three it's of you return to. So bad, it's kind of endearing. The three of you come back to the uh, the Kabuto, and you see that Nara's already uh, busily working away. She has multiple data pads open. She's in uh, one of the information rooms, sort of moving things around, trying to get things figured out. She's knee deep in research. Hey, Gigi. Yeah. Set a course to DeRoy. Done. All right, are you piloting it yourself, Georgiana? Oh, you bet. All right, you jump into the pilot seat, the Kabutu roars to life, and you all begin to head to the planet of Deroy. Oh. All right. Hey, Eldris, you, uh, you don't look so hot. <laughs> Does he have a bird migraine? A bird of hangover? What, what was even in that shot? I don't know. I sip mine really quietly. <laughs> you, so you have enough of it, Nara, that you're you're kind of vibing, but like not to the point where you've lost control of your faculties. Not at all. It's, I know. You're how almost to like take a, a drink. like a Zen state almost. 
Nice. I'm deeper into the research. I'm connecting things that should not be connected. Exactly. All right. And since I'm, I'm kind of like, I, I kind of do this partying thing a lot, and I'm, you know, I'm, I've been around alien shit quite a bit. Uh, I have like in my coat pocket like these pills that are really good at like crushing hangovers from alien weird drinks. So okay. I like toss one over at Aldris. I'm like, here, take this. It'll make you feel better. <laughs> I probably don't even catch it. <laughs> <laughs> I like you try, but just I miss. And doesn't do anything. <laughs> Pretty much. Perfect. Bings off his head. All right, you I try. all. Uh, you all head forward as the uh, Kamato uh, folds through space, and you guys warp to your destination on Doroy. And as you arrive, you see that there your sensors pick up that maybe one or two ships are floating around uh, the atmosphere. So yes, someone indeed has uh, already made it. They're uh, cloaking as they do, but fortunately the Kabuto has uh, more information than most ships do. And I wonder why that is, Wink. <laughs> Alrighty, the, uh, the briefing that you all received was basically, planet is cold, very, 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 very cold. Uh, there are ice worms, and uh, there should be other bounty hunters here, probably ahead of time. Uh, and in terms of weaknesses, while they do not like the heat for obvious reasons, their very uh, tough carapaces are actually able to resist it to some degree. Uh, as it is so cold here, it's actually difficult to even utilize a heat type weakness. I'm going to uh, put some attachments in my robot arm before we uh, head out. Okay. What kind of attachments? Well, it's like internal, like... So I can kind of like shoot them out. Okay. So my, I mean, it, uh, my arm still looks like, you know, my hand yeah. or my human arm. Okay. Like it's robot, but okay. I can like press buttons and make things, weapons and other such, but like, you know, fire weapons and other bounty hunting gizmos that I need. Yeah, of course. All right. Excellent. Um, I will change your mild consequence to coming down. So you're you're almost healed. Your brain is starting to catch up, Aldris. <laughs> Poor Aldris. Is it though? Uh, hopefully. You only had one shot of it. So you live. Alrighty, the four of you floating around Deroy, uh, you can see that it has multiple moons and I don't need to tell you, it is completely covered in ice. What do we do? How do we prepare? How do we go down? Uh, do, well, you, do you see a good spot for us to land? I was just going to say I was going to look for one. All right, uh, Georgiana, you use your scanners to see where is the safest place for us to land. Uh, I'll ask you if you want to roll something else. You're more than welcome to, but I would say roll investigates. You're looking for a very, very specific thing. Oh my god, nice, all right. July. Hell yeah. Um, looking around, Georgiana, it takes you but a moment. And uh, sort of scanning and scanning and scanning, like, hmm, no, this, this, wow, you almost rolled max. Holy shit, you rolled plus three, hell yeah. That's incredibly rare in fate, awesome. These are all my D&D &D luck is. I mean, sort of. You're rolling four dice instead of one, so you get four RNGs out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> um... Looking about and checking your scanners, Georgiana, uh, you can see multiple inconvenient locations to land, and someone took one of them. The poor fool. It looked like it would have been a good location to land, but fortunately, Georgiana is very good at her job. And looking about, you actually find it's sort of far from where you think most of the ice worms will be. Uh, Nara, looking through your data, you find that uh, they definitely tend to hang out near caves and such. A lot of them, they, they are worms, so they burrow, obviously. Um, but they like to go underground. That way they Wait, can keep say, their eggs safe. Did you say that we saw a good parking spot, but somebody was already there? You saw a good parking spot that seemed like a good parking spot, but now that Georgiana has scanned it thoroughly, she's determined that is not the case. 
Someone's Question. already there. Yes. So like another ship when? Is there? Yes. When hey, I uh, was... Nara, can you scan real quick if there's anybody on that ship? Yeah, I can do that. <laughs> no problem, boss. No problem, nerd. What were you asking, Nara? Um... You just said nerd. Uh... Oh, when I was looking up the planet type stuff, mm -hmm. is there a way to check to see who has accepted a bounty on something? Not necessarily without better resources or hacking or something. He doesn't necessarily want that okay. to be public information, but you do know there will be a way to figure it out. That would be either something through okay. contacts or through your hacking burglary. The okay, downside, of course, I... is if you fail that, they would know you tried getting into their know. system. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to try... Can I scan that other ship to see if there's any people on board? Uh, you may, yes. Are you trying to hail them? Are you? Is this, is this more of a, yeah, a checking or... I, I want to see if there are people still on the ship or if they are already out. So Traditionally, there would always be someone left behind, but you're more than welcome to check. Uh, I would say since you uh, are... Hacking into them burglary makes the most sense. Okay. Because you're mean, checking for life forms on the ship without their consent, so. Yeah, I expect that there will be some people on board, but I want to see if, like, the quote unquote hunting party has already exited. Sure. Burgle. Burgle. Alrighty. You ping their ship. And uh, let me actually, let me, let me let me roll against that. I'll roll a plus one notice against that. Well, sometimes. Wow. Sometimes. So, Nara, you go to ping their ship. And when you do, you're actually able to get in relatively easily. Um, but you've noticed that they notice you pretty quickly. You can, can tell I, that can I, um... two people were on the Sorry. ship As, at the time. Uh, you don't know how many were supposed to be on the ship total, uh, but they are they are gone. There, there should be more than two um, people on the ship, so you can tell that they're already on the planet. So I know that they've seen me, though, right? Yes, very much so. I hailed the ship. Uh, okay. I just want to see. I, you know, I want them to know that I know. Sure. <laughs> the uh, the cockpit pauses for a moment. You hear just like a... And then a large screen uh, sort of pops up. And you see an individual looking very like mm, into the camera going, hello. Hey, what's up? Hi. How's it going over there? Pretty good. Interesting way to say hello to somebody. Yeah, you know, it's my thing, actually. It's, mm. it's what I'm going And uh, your thing, who are you? Um, They call me Dara. Oh, you took a while to say your name. So yeah, that's probably you know, not sometimes. your name then. Yeah, that's my name for today. Okay, that's fair. You know, it could be day later. Later I'll change it. And tomorrow I'll change it. Yesterday it was something different. Fair enough. It's all spur of the moment. Um, I was just wondering how, how long you guys have, have been here. Funny question. What's the matter to you? I mean, we were going to park where you're parked is all. <laughs> Oh, I mean... <laughs> there aren't really a lot of great places to park around here. Look around. There's actually quite a few. There's a whole planet. Yeah, Funny that. That's actually not, you know? There are a lot of really dangerous places around here. You know, that, that that's true. We actually spent some time looking around, and uh, this seems to be one of the better ones. So I won't be moving, actually. Oh, I'm not asking you to move at all. Hey, oh. hey, hey GG. No. Yeah. Hey, you know, let's execute out. crane game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that. Do I know what that is? No. Suspicious. <laughs> but Gigi does because she's my pilot. <laughs> Technically, she should because she's the mechanic, but yeah. <laughs> oh, it's true. <laughs> yeah, you should, I should know whatever this is. Pretty much, we're dropping a, a, a crane and picking this ship up and moving it. Oh, yeah, no, I absolutely know that's Okay, is in that, that case, I definitely know that's what's happening. Is is this the best bot? Uh, to do what? A crane game. Pick it up and toss it away. So you guys' ship isn't 
that big, th their ship's about the same size as yours. Also, they're not landed, they're in the atmosphere. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I thought we were landing on the planet. No, I've never said you guys landed. I said you guys oh. are in space, in the atmosphere. This is true. I, I, you I, know, I, I, I was just... going to finish answering Geor Georgiana's question because there, there's still more to that, but we'll get back to that in a minute. All right, well. You're not going to move. That was a miscommunication. I thought I thought you I thought we were looking for a place to land. You are. And they were in the spot where we we're going to land. They're in so you can tell they're in the space area where they would have launched and then landed. Whether they sent a smaller ship like to go sent down. A small ship down. Yeah, they would have sent a small ship down basically to go land. Uh mm -hmm. every ship you can see is there's like two, three at most. Uh they're in the atmosphere. My bad. They're hanging in the atmo. I heard you. All good. All right, well, uh, you're not going to move, though, right? Definitely not. Are you sure? Let me check. No. I, okay, maybe check again. Uh, let me think. Oh, hell no. Oh, damn. Yeah, Sucks. shame. That's it really what it does. Shame. All right, well. Uh... They hang up. <laughs> <laughs> I, can I hack into them again? <laughs> yeah, go for it. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll give them a plus two this. So I'll give them a plus two this time because they should be someone aware. Okay. So you, you can't remember. Remember, you can re-roll with your fate points. So you you, you can oh, use yes, one I of your aspects and say because you can hack in anything at any time, you can use one of your fate points to re-roll or give yourself a plus two. Your choice. Um, mathematically, you have you have a minus two. So if you roll a minus two or a minus uh, four, you want to use or sorry anywhere from minus three to minus four, you want to use fate to re-roll. But if you have a, uh, a three and you tie them. Uh, you're technically attacking in a weird way, but you're not. So you're more so uh, overcoming something. Um, so when you tie, you would succeed at a minor cost. I'm going to do so, that. Okay. Uh, so go ahead and use uh, one of your fate points to go down to two. Uh, and okay. then we'll say you, uh, <laughs> as she hangs up, you, like, you instantly start trying to hack into her systems again. Um, l let me ask, what are you trying to find exactly? I want to find information about the people on board. Okay. Like, and, I want uh, to find their crew files. To sure. see if there's somebody that we need to be worried about. You pull up some of their crew files, and... In a hurry, Nara, you realize that you actually unintentionally, and only you know this, gave up some of your information as well. Unfortunately, your crew is only four people, so they know about three of you. I'm going to roll a d4 to see which ones those are. So the first person they know about is... Aldris. Second person is Ryder. Third person is Georgiana. Ha! Oh, they don't know about you. <laughs> me. All right, That's so good for me, but you know I Nara. Don't tell anybody <laughs> they grabbed everyone's file except for yours. That's fine. That's convenient. Um, because you know, I hear I I think does Aldris have? I mean, Ryder and Georgiana are pretty well known anyway. Yes. Um, but Aldris is not correct. Correct. He's the last wizard bird man in the universe. I just don't think that should be in his file, but okay. Oh, no, that's not. Um, you guys know this, so you wouldn't have like all the information about Aldris in his file. It's more okay. like filler information. It's just a, like- That's fine. When I'm you gonna... guys are scanned, it's like, oh, he's our lore keeper. He's our book guy. It's like, okay, sure. I'm going to accept that as a necessary loss. Wow. <laughs> I'm just saying, I do think we would not include information about like, the fact that he's the last bird man. I agree. That makes perfect um, sense. So are we able to land on the planet? You very much can, yes. And the Kabuto is quite tanky, to use game terms. So it, it would be safe if it were to land on the planet. Well, Dude, while we're uh, passing planet. that other ship, I give him a bird to clip him off. Okay. Uh, they, they, they don't see your bird, but you, you get the feeling that they, like, sense. I take a picture of it, and then I send it across the Oh, no, 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 <laughs> okay, no. Okay. So, no, 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 so, no, no, no worry. Nara, Nara, they'll see. I'm gonna press a button on the the Caputo, and a digital middle finger shoots out of the ship. Okay, as you yes. guys go flying by their ship, the giant middle finger goes <laughs> flying by uh, their ship, and uh, perfect. Yeah, you, you, you guys, you guys are out of range before they can they can respond anyway. But you can tell that uh, there was there was very much sass there. Uh, Georgiana, to finish your roll real quick because you rolled so damn well. Um, I'm sorry. What? Oh no! No, perfect. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, fortunately, my my brain isn't completely broken yet, so I can actually remember things. Um, there will be a moment where I just like, oh, like, hey guys, like our D and D campaign, which you didn't play for a month for good reason. I forgot way too many really important things. Um, but my brain is back and functioning. Um, Georgiana, 
what you could tell with your skills is that would have been a good place to land. Except for, your guys' scan revealed a few things that while it's a decent place to land and maybe you get pretty lucky with uh, various worm eggs and such, it's more so an on the surface good place to land, quote unquote. You might get a decent amount of eggs, but they are closer to the surface. As I mentioned, they are underground. These worms burrow. You're going to have to di dig or follow one of their, um, oh, excuse me, or follow one of their tunnels to get down in there. Um, so that was a riskier location that might not pay off so well, but on the surface looked good. Fortunately, Georgiana, your abilities persuade you to look elsewhere. And when you do, you actually find in space, near the atmosphere, somewhere in... No one's located here. There are no ships, fortunately. On the surface, this looks like a horrible location. In fact, there's a storm. But you notice that this is a very strange storm. It hasn't necessarily touched down on the surface. It's more so just floating in the atmosphere, the mid-atmosphere, if you will. If you were to fly through this or fly around it, which would take some time, you can fly through it quickly. Uh, we will say the Kabuto well, on top. You guys have mechs, obviously, so you... you do have a smaller ship that launches from the Kabuto, but you guys have your four mechs, so you guys can use those, of course, if you wish to go down. Um, I will say, in terms of your mechs, and in terms of the Kabuto having resistance to ice, we'll say they're, it's relatively good. So if you guys were to go down with your mechs, they wouldn't like freeze over in an hour. Um, your suits, though, that's another question. They, they, you guys will not last that long uh, on the surface of this planet. So this will very much be a timed mission. Uh, you know that because you guys can't afford the best spacesuits, unfortunately. Um, but if you were to have a pretty good pilot or a good leader that could lead you guys through this storm, you could cut through it and land somewhere that is perfect good thing and no one's pull. touched it. So it's somewhat risky, Georgiana, but it is worth it. All right. So, uh, I think we should cut through this, uh, storm. Yes, I agree. Can I name my my uh, my uh, man? Shall I roll pilot? Uh, you can name it whatever you want. All right. I, I would say if, if you well, want to name a oh, where. So uh, I was going to say, if you wish to name anything or add anything, uh, there's a few things you can do. You can add it to one of your extras if you wish, or you can put it in your description and we can worry about the extras later. In my description? Yeah. So right now your description says uh, crew mechanic. Um, the first tab says character sheet. The second tab will say description, biology, and expert. Biography and Express Biology. Um, oh, I it, see. Under the Fate Core logo, there's a second tab. Yeah, it, it, you can type whatever you want in there. Uh, biography would be like your background, but you can have the name of your Mac, the way it looks, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Just just bunch, bunch of bunch of fun stuff in there. All right. Uh, so I will ask your oh, guys. Wait. I can't. I can't edit it. Really? Yeah. That's um. Weird. What do you mean? It just it like highlights, but it doesn't let me click on it. You can't click it. To yeah, I can't. Well, I my I put my mouse over it. And then click? And it, like, highlights. Yeah, and then you, you click the highlight. Yeah, and it doesn't let me type anything. Uh, weird. I, I'm I mean, actually... I can clearly change the, uh, the skill stuff. Yeah. I can type. That's weird. Um, well, if you want, you can type it somewhere in Discord, and I can add it later. I'm actually not sure why that's right. not working. That's very odd. Uh, no anywho, I'll so, send it to you. Sure. Uh, depending on your guys' approach, you may guy you would, may do this however you want. You can leave the Kabuto up here. You can try landing it. You can try going down with your max. Just let me know. Up to y'all. I want to go down in the mech. I want it to dig. You want to dig with the mech? I yeah. mean, I guess we could leave the ship up above i uh i've got plenty of safeguards bro are, are there any uh are there any meteors around that i can hide the ship against meteors uh asteroids Ah, uh, there's moons there's five moons only five oh, only five unfortunately you can blow one up if you want less <laughs> i'll think about okay. it fewer i guess would be proper But yes, you, you do believe if you wanted to, you can hide the, the Kabuto uh, behind or near one of the moons. All right, sure. Uh, I'll do name. that. Okay. Georgiana. Or I can huh? just stay up here. What's your we... mech's name? Uh... Trixie, right? Yeah. Okay. 
By the way, Trixie is Speed Racer's girlfriend. Yes. Oh, yes. It's a nerd reference. Oh, it's a nerd reference. <laughs> it's a nerd reference. Don't make fun of me. Make fun of her. Wee. Bully. Wee. Wee. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, that's just a nerd. Wee. <laughs> All right. As if we aren't here playing RPGs. All nerd right. games. Alright, so that, the general plan is to hide the Kabuto and go down with your mechs? Yeah. Yup. All righty then. All in favor, say aye. 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 Uh, is, is your mech's name full capital letters like that? Oh, yes. Alright. Thank you. Just a little creature. Wonderful. Alrighty. Shift in a turbo. All right. Because you rolled so well, Georgiana, I want to have you guys roll stealth or anything. I'll say you can effectively hide the Kabuto behind one of the moons, uh, Ryu, the moon, as you do. So we're going to go and hide Mr. Kabuto. He's hiding in the moon. And Kabuto. the four of you are mecking up and heading down. Yep. All right. You guys head to the hangar and hop into your mechs. I know we have Trixie. We have uh, Nara. Yours is named Creature with full capital letters. Uh, Ryder mm -hmm. and Aldris, have you named your max? Nope. I'm, 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 I'm still thinking about it. No worries. All right. Is there anything in particular you guys want to do as you're going down or just a go -go, baby. straight down? Yeah, yeah, straight, straight down. down. Alright, straight down it is. So I will hmm. Alrighty. So the risk here, of course, is going through the storm and landing on the planet of Deroy. I'm going to say this is going to obviously require a pilot roll, unless you guys wish to uh, convince me of another skill being used here. Uh, we can say. Hmm. This is going to be overcome, obviously. I'm going to say the difficulty will go in descending order because we'll have a leader and then it will slowly get easier as we fly down. So I'm the leader, obviously. Well, you have the, you have the highest pilot skill. Um, so we I'll let you guys uh, arrange yourselves. Uh, we'll say the first person in will be on the right. So Georgiana and then you guys can arrange yourselves in order. So the next person will be Nara, Ryder, then Aldris. Uh, the first person goes in, it'll be difficulty three, two, then one, one. Uh, I have three pilots, so I could go second, probably. Okay. Well, I guess Make it easier for other people. I have a two pilot. Yeah, same. Okay. So, there you go. Alrighty. Roll it up. Heading down to the planet of Deroy, a massive ice storm bars your way it is tearing and screaming and looking to our wonderful pilot georgiana we're going to lead our group into not shitsville preferably all right oops am i rolling pilot uh you uh yes you are going to be rolling me some pilot holy God mother damn. of god Okay, oh. you overcame the living shit out of that. Uh, I will say that boost will create... Uh, that success will create a boost for the rest of the party. And anyone behind you, uh, I'll call this boost Clear Way. It'll just add a plus two and you can invoke it for free. Uh, Aldris. Nice. All right, also just absolutely destroyed it. All right, Ryder and Nara. Woo! Gang, gang. All right, all the good rolls. Hell yeah, we didn't need this boost. Wonderful. Okay, I should have I made that higher. Damn, you guys nailed it. Seven, five, four, three. I know, right? <laughs> I think we just got really lucky there. Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, initially, it feels a little touch and go, just slightly. Uh, Georgia, you're able to whip through the storm. You see massive hunks of ice and just sleet in blades as they buff it up against the outside of your armor, but you're able to kind of flow and move uh, with the storm rather than against it. 
your compatriots follow behind you as all four of you slowly move in formation through the storm. It would easily rip up any other lesser pilot, but not you. Not someone as skilled as this group. As you all head down, it takes maybe about a minute or so to move through the storm. You burst out the other side into a very calm, open area. You see below you uh, what might have been a lake, but it is very clearly uh, frozen. You remember looking in your notes about this planet that it actually takes an entire Earth year for it to rotate a single time. Mm. Well, I probably would have shared this with everyone. It's a very slow boy. I'm also, like, in, I learned this. in general, uh, I am going to add to the third tab a countdown tracker and uh, before right when we land um before we get out i'm gonna be like is everybody ready to go uh, prepare your your o2 monitors all right and in this tracker uh, you guys should be able to see it it's just going to be called frozen basically when certain things happen i will slowly count down on this tracker and when it reaches zero once they're all filled up you will freeze to death on this planet there's no oh there, there's, there's no saves there's no anything you would instantly die the tracker? it is should be Good under the third I have one. auto save <laughs> yeah <laughs> wait so where's the tracker i'm sorry um, it's under the fate utility tab now it, it'll progress slowly and it will react to your guys's roles so for example if you guys are trying to overcome something and you will fail the penalty will be it took too long to get over it so one of these is ticked Where's the utility tab? Yeah, I don't see it either. It, it's the, uh, those faces. Oh, on the sidebar. Mm-hmm. Oh, then the first one has all you guys. The next one's got all your guys' uh, damage and such. And the third one has situational aspects and countdowns. Good deal. There we go. Uh, see it? Oh, so you'll mark it? Mm-hmm. So it currently, sh- yeah, cr- it currently should be 10 boxes that are unmarked. So let's say, for yeah. example... You guys are trying to get over a ravine, and you all fail for whatever reason. I can say you guys do, or so uh, we can say one or two things happens. Uh, I can say either you guys choose to take damage crossing the ravine, uh, or like suffer two uh, two ticks of stress, or we tick off one countdown. And then I'll let you guys decide as a group and say we'll take the safe route and one countdown, or screw it, we'll take damages, run it. So basically, that will be what what this is. Do I have my brain back? Is it all um, functioning now? It'll be functioning after we've been here for a, li- a little while, maybe after three or four times, quote unquote, and then that slot will be open. Do we have to like? So you, you're you're in recovery mode basically, but you do have your ring back definitely. With how cold it is, do we have to wear like a breathing apparatus or? Very much so. Yes. Yeah. So your guys is after you guys get out of your mechs, you're gonna have to get out of your mech unfortunately, um, because the, these some of these caves are relatively small. Unless you guys want to go in, you know, full mech, and you guys can if you guys want, you guys can just like drill mode, just. <laughs> Just bust around there. I will not stop you. Um, but you you know from what you read that these things can be relatively dangerous. Uh, and on foot is the smartest route. From your notes. I'm going to tell everybody, let's get as close as we can with our mechs and then hop out. Okay. Done deal. Alrighty. Sounds like a plan. I'm just going to keep linking the music I'm using in oh, Discord. It's pretty dope. I dig it. Alrighty. Uh, looking about, the four of you have landed, and swirls of frozen air surround your mechs as you move about. Uh, you realize that, depending on where you are out here in the open, standing in one location for too long would be hazardous to your health, as you would most likely freeze in place. Your mechs are mostly resistant to the cold, but not enough to rest for too long. Uh, fortunately, as you look around, nothing's coming to assault you. Seems rather quiet, actually. I think it's a little relaxed. It's it's actually quite nice here. And you begin to move forward. Okay, I'll ask everybody. This is more of a general. Uh, everyone, roll me notice to see where to go next. Notice me, senpai. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> oh, we got a one. Mech, right? You're in your mechs until you until you choose to leave the mech. Uh, you will be. In mech mode, yeah. Georgiana and Ryder. Dos. One. Okay. Not bad. Looking twice. Okay. No worries. 
All right, you guys use your scanners and such and you begin to look around and following off of uh, Georgiana's advice and such. You notice just up ahead uh, that there's somewhat of a clearing uh, it's between two large frozen mountains. And while your mech will fit through this clearing, it might be a little tight. But you know from your scans and from your research, this is, should be the layer of the ice worms. Uh, Good night. Dude, I'm yes, ahead. Let's uh, let's get let's get closer and start our digging. All right, the four of you move forward, and you determine that, as I mentioned, if you wanted, you guys could kind of squeeze through here on your max. It uh, it varies. You guys might need to use some lightly destructive techniques to get through, uh, but otherwise, you could technically move forward uh, on your max. It will be loud and well, Georgiana, um, obvious, but. All the same, it is safer this way. So I'll leave it up to you guys. Well, mm -hmm. slightly destructive. We might get noticed. Versus, that was like a fun time to me. Versus hopping out and uh, going the slower but safer route. If we, if we jump out right now. So there's, this mission is less close and more you can spend as much time here as possible that makes sense, if that makes sense. I mean, to the cave, how close are we? You're relatively close. So uh, if, if you wanted to, you guys actually saw some holes from the surface. Uh, some holes are large enough that your mech would fit in relatively easily, meaning the worm is diameter uh, bigger than your mech. So that's horrifying. It's a but big worm. It's a big, it's a big ass worm. Uh, there are Knowing some. Knowing it's that large makes me less inclined there's some that are smaller to make noise so I'll, I'll uh I'll, I'll be transparent so if you guys go on foot i'll add one tick timer if you guys stay on your mechs uh we'll roll uh probably notice and stealth rolls and then you'll see if you are noticed it might not be this very second but as they are worms they can feel vibrations and such and eventually you'll be noticed all right i, I think okay. we should take the what do we know anything about the eggs? Like, are they in clumps or are they like scarce? They I should my be. Research. Yeah. So from what Nara found, they should very much be in clumps. Uh, you find that these ice worms tend to leave like four or so, and then maybe some way off, like 20, 30, 40, 50 feet, and then like four or five. Uh, they, they won't clump them all together in like one room, but there will be one room with multiple clumps, and then another room with multiple clumps, and another room with multiple clumps, uh, progressively going down, 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 down into the planet. I'm thinking it's better for us if we do it fast. Oh, and I also will say you guys have the technology to bring the eggs on foot. So you guys have like an anti-grav, uh, like, and you can like not bring all the eggs at once, but we'll say each of you can bring like three or four eggs, uh, probably four eggs each. I, I feel like we have something kind of like Capsule Corp where we can like carry, like it's like a portable thing that shoots out. Yeah, that, we'll, like, we'll, we'll say on foot, you could carry four eggs each easily if, if, if you wanted to with just this I mean, device. And then you could tall, right? Right. So the, the device would carry four eggs. Uh, you yeah. would be able to carry one. They're big eggs. Yes, they are. They are large eggs. Uh, so, so four it, eggs is better than one egg. Right. Um, how long does it take for us to get a check mark? Uh, basically, it depends on what we're doing. So I'll let you know this is a moment of decision, uh, aka you're going to be seen or you're going to have to decide on something else. Uh, I'll be my very transparent vote. on... Hmm? I was going to say my vote. Your vote? Is. Is. I think we should go on foot. Grab as much as we can without making any noise and then go back. Uh, I mean... Uh... Like grab extras just in case on break along the way? Well, I, I think mean, we well, get as close as we can with the mechs without making noise and then hop out. I will say you guys Wait, are relatively close. I thought if we go close. further, I thought if we go any further, we'll have to make stealth rules. Correct. So you, you guys are as close as you can get with the mechs without making noise. All right. So then let's hop out. Okay. Everyone agree? Sure. All right. All right. That works. I, sure. Well, we'll say you guys leave your mechs in a non-conspicuous location as you hop out, even through your suits you can feel the cold bite of this planet. You know it does not want you here for very long. All 
right, so now we've taken one uh, frozen. Effectively, one yes. Yeah. So it, it won't really affect you guys. Uh, I'll say at the last two, mechanically it'll affect you. So I can say I'll, I'll like invoke um, a fate and say like, ah, you know, you know, I, against you, this will be two stages more, you know, difficult. So if it was normally a two, it'd be a four uh, because, you know, not only you're cold, but the planet is cold. And then you can use your right. fate point in turn to either reroll or et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So. All right. But that, that's only been the last two stages. You guys don't even get there depending on how well you roll. So, right, so uh, definitely yes. not liking this cold. Uh, we really need to move quickly. Let's get, let's get moving. All right, moving forward, the four of you go on foot. Uh, quietly, we'll say. Uh, stealth rolls not be required because you guys are relatively somewhere where no one knows about. And your mechs did not really make that much noise on the way here. So you're scot-free in that sense, which actually allows you to move forward on foot at a somewhat faster pace than usual. And heading forward and heading forward, uh, you guys uh, move about. To your left and to your right are two uh, massive ice walls that are jagged and cracked. It almost looks like this used to be a mountain and something either hit it or struck it and caused the mountain to uh, crack and then slowly separate. And in this space, as I mentioned, there's about room for one of your mechs to kind of squeeze through and move, move to the side and then it starts going down, but that would make noise. Uh, so on foot, very easy. Nothing is in your way. Uh, it's very straightforward. Unfortunately, it is a hallway. So if anything sees you to the front or to behind, you will be seen instantly. Fortunately, no one is here. Is there anything in the walls? Uh, looking at the walls, you can see various frozen creatures, stones, uh, flows of water. Uh, they are completely frozen stiff. You kind of knock on the ice and it is hard. It is long frozen. Hundreds of thousands of years, this has been frozen. Yeah. No moving eyeballs, right? No moving eyeballs. It is completely okay. solid. Okay. Interesting. You begin hey, to... Uh, Nara, can you scan uh, to see if you can see any life, like worm-wise? Sure. Okay. Or and that... Is... Would that be a notice? Um... I would or say... Would that be a... uh, investigate. Uh, inv investigate's usually smaller scale. Uh, I'll, I'll say, I'll say notice, yeah. Okay. Without too much effort, Nara, you do indeed notice some worms up ahead. Uh, this is relatively obvious, as they do indeed live here, uh, but that means you guys are on the right track. So All heading right. forward as you do, um, so I'll... pick up, like, heat sensor on her little device? Uh, less a heat sensor, more of uh, less heat, more movement. Okay. Oh, okay. Gotcha. All right. So I will say this applies to everyone. You are aware of worms with one free invo. Oh, basically, worms. Yes. This is basically a boost. If something were to happen that is worm related, you any of you can use this basically for free because Nara found these worms with such vigor my job you know exactly i love it uh, i love it i really do worm hunter. sorry what <laughs> did you say hold on oh, no i said let's get a move on like oh okay tracking tracking get, get. of course all right and as you all move forward uh, you pause for but a moment as you now see ahead of you is the descent and this descent is very clearly rounded it's a, maybe a little larger than you were anticipating, uh, but looking up, looking just up ahead, you can see that this is maybe not the most frequent path used to go down to the den of the worm, but... That's actually a good thing, Wait, though, so right? A big hole? Yes. Very, very large hole up ahead, headed down, which is precisely what you were looking for. Well, good thing I brought my booster boots. Indeed. So it doesn't go straight down. It is uh, curved, so you guys can, um, for for this part at least, uh, it's about a 45 degree incline and just kind of heads down further and further. Oh. So you need okay. to be a little little, little careful. Uh, if you brought any things with you, now would be the time uh, to use them. Snow boots? Uh, snow boots and such. 
Oh, well, yeah, I mean, yeah. Snow boots, you're, you're kind of dead at this point. <clears throat> uh, so moving forward, uh, I'm going to say to get down here safely in a timely manner. It goes on for quite some time. Uh, this is basically the initial burrow hole that will eventually lead down into the caves. Uh, I'm going to have to ask an overcome athletics roll from everybody. Uh, and we're looking for... So, oh, hold up. Oh, Jesus. Okay, hold up. Uh, yeah, we're looking I for... Just, I can't just, like, hover down there? No. You, you get... For, uh, for done, done for this. Uh, so, hover would be... Um, which one of your skills hovers? Well, I mean, like... I, I mean, like, I guess pilot, because, like, you know, my shoes allow me to fly. Right. So, pilot would be you piloting a ship or something, not shoes. Um, so, if you, if you had an aspect or something or a stunt that you do something for free, then we'd use that. Um, but basically, to, to do something, you need to roll, especially if you're like bypassing I'm something. A little bit, because I'm piloting my shoes, kind of like Iron Man piloting his, his armor. Mm, not really. I wish I'd stayed in my mech. <laughs> uh, but yes, the difficulty on this is one. So, not too difficult. So we have to beat a one? Yeah, beat a one. Oh, well, I got a negative one. You so. did get a negative one. I guess I'm going flying. Oh, oh mother of God. God. <laughs> <laughs> and, I thought, and I thought I was bad. Okay, so we have <laughs> uh, we have two failures. Technically, to re-roll this, um, of course, so you don't have any points in athletics. You can add one if you wish, obviously, because uh, you have no points. You're, you're missing two plus ones. Can I, um, can I use one of my fate points? So technically, yes. But I just when feel you, like I'm going to make a lot of noise and when I'm going to get hurt. When you do, you would need to invoke one of your aspects or one of your concepts. And you are so far are a compulsive tinkerer or can hack into anything. So if you can convince me one of those can somehow boost your athletics role, then yes. Otherwise, no. Uh... <laughs> uh... Maybe I built something that no you know what i'll just suffer you'll, you'll I'll just, just take suffer. it okay okay I'll that's fine suffer. And so here's the thing if i use my fate point successfully that means i only have one left for this entire encounter and i just don't know if i want to want to risk that this is true uh because I'm, I'm gonna have so, so this is a good point though because this will show you guys uh in different scenarios i have to invoke these for you to get more fate points um, can hack into anything in Compulsive Tinkerer. Those are kind of hard. One of those I can definitely invoke in a second. Um, but those are kind of hard to invoke in this exact situation because obviously there's no tech because mm -hmm. you guys are on an alien planet. Um, and th th that, that's kind of a heads up to you guys to, ah, maybe I should rename one of my aspects or maybe because you only have two. Maybe you can go, ah, shit, what, what else would Nara be good at? You know what I mean? And you come up with a, with a new aspect on the fly and then boom, reroll. You know what I mean? So maybe um and it has to be both good and bad um so in you can start off as kind of a, a basic boring aspect and then go ah i'll invoke that and then over time change it so maybe you're wearing like a nano suit or maybe something but whatever it may be and you can, you can invoke that and say oh I, I hack into my own suit to like force myself to like succeed this athletic check that's technically okay um we would just need to make that line more interesting in the future uh, so i can invoke it so you can get more fate points uh, or you can just teach it. That, that, that's also fine. It's, it's, it's fun uh, to fail. So. Well, you know, I think maybe I'm... Maybe you also I do have the Aware of Worms plus two. That had... God, what are those things that rock climbers use, but with ice? Oh, yeah, those like spikes? Yeah. Maybe I built those into my... Or <laughs> my my hands, my gloves. Yeah. I mean, so realistically, you, you can say, if, if you want to use one of your pay points, you can say Compulsive Tinkerer means, because realistically, now you're the most prepared. You weren't out getting nookie. You were, you know, researching. I was preparing. You were preparing. I no, was so, building things to help me. Right. So logically, uh, we, we could say, yes, with Compulsive Tinkerer, you could invo invoke a fate point, um, which either re-roll or plus two, because you have negative three, obviously you want to re-roll that. You're just trying to get a one. Um, and you can say, I did something to my suit and just, just tell me because in, in, in the fiction, what you're doing is the most important thing. Um, you can say that you, you attached like those metal hooks to your suit in case you were to trip, you can quickly like hook onto, uh, the, the slope and then slowly work yeah. your way down rather than having like freak out. Uh, so you're more welcome to do that, but you do still obviously have to reroll and then use a pay point. So. I, you know what? I will do that. I have decided I, could this be, could this theoretically also 
continue on if I have this gadget that kind of makes things more, like give me more purchase on ice and snow. Uh, are you saying pick of the bonus? Yeah. Like, could I use it again? Uh, so technically, no. Basically, the way it works is anytime you use a something, one of your aspects or one of your fate points, it effectively lets you reroll or it lets you add plus two. So let's say you, you were to have climbing gear on you for whatever reason. Um, let's say, for, okay, for example, another good example, um, you're falling and you're, you're eating shit. That sucks. So uh, Aldris, he's allowed to use one of his aspects to give you a fate point and he can use, use, use his magic for anything. He can use magic to help you float or something so you don't, you know, completely bite it. It only he helps one me of, in that moment. Right. It only helps you that very second, basically. Uh, if you have climbing gear, you have climbing gear, but... Uh, in fate specifically, you can have gear in fate. That's perfectly fine, but we need to account for it. So basically, no, we, we go this under is your. A, this is just yeah. a. Uh, it's just a one time yeah. thing. Yeah. So basically, everything in fate is temporary. You can have permanent stuff, though, if we plan for it ahead of time. Um, so you're in more than welcome case, to have, like, I bought climbing gear, so I get. If I'm climbing, I get a plus two all the time to climbing, period. And that's something you can have in, in fate. But, like, for for this, because we're not messing with extras right now, we, we won't do that mm -hmm. for now, because we're just messing with the okay. basic mechanics. Yeah. Um, I will, if I do eat shit. Yes. What will it do to me? Will uh, I have to take a physical stress, a mild consequence? Negative three is very bad. <laughs> All right, I'm so, going to use my fate point and reroll. Okay. My yeah. emergency systems. That makes sense. So go ahead and just roll uh, athletics one more time. And technically, Georgiana, if you want, you can use the, the, the free. In a, in a big snowman. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry. I'm not, me? I don't mean to laugh. That that's just awesome. unfortunate. <gasps> wow, that sucks. That, that's, that's the exact same role, exact and I wasted role. a fate point. This is exactly what I thought was going to happen. I was that like, you know, I'm going to reroll. That's fine. Okay, I roll. I, I eat shit twice as hard. All right. Uh, Georgiana, if, I, if, if, if you know, if you no, I try it almost, mate, I've got it. Yes. My gadget did not save me. It broke immediately on impact. That's fair. Uh, Georgiana, if you want, you can use the free invoke to the aware of worms to put yourself at a plus one, which make you succeed if you want. Sure. Okay. So we'll go ahead and do that. It's now deleted. Boop. Uh, Am I just going to see Nar like roll right, right past me like accumulating this like big snowball of yes so each of you begin to descend in a pretty organized and controlled manner and as you're going down you guys are like, okay this isn't so bad this isn't so bad it gets a little steep and a little steeper and you guys have to worry a little bit but you don't hear anything so you think everyone's fine and in one second you kind of hear Nara slip a little bit and then she's like you know you can hear like aha as she activates uh her contingency plan within her suit <laughs> But she ahas too loud and not quick enough. And unfortunately, rather than digging into the ice, the ice is so hard. Your bl the blades on your suit just like scrape against the ice, and you just like uh. ee the whole way down. And then you end up like rolling a little bit. <laughs> oh, that's so loud! I'm gonna attract so much attention. And we'll say take uh, one shift of damage on the way down. Uh, which for physical one. stress would just be the one tick. So when I say take a, a shift or take one, uh, if it's easy for you guys, I, I can just say take one damage. Um, nope, it's but... taken. The shift is taken. Exactly, you shifted into turbo. Uh, so yes, you you take one shift damage on the way down, scraping your not your knee, not your elbow. Your your everything are is now scraped. Unfortunately, uh, it's not awful, but it's it's. Yeah, I've got um, I've got, you know, like, rug burn but it's from ice. Basically. Burned. Yeah. You, you, your whole everything is just not, not so great right now. And upon landing at the bottom, uh, congratulations, Nara. You got there first. And then the rest of your team arrives behind you. You made a lot of noise, though. You know that it's been down here. It has now been alerted. Looking about, though, you don't initially see anything. I'm starting to really wish I brought my back. <laughs> Laughs nervously. <laughs> is there a... the tunnels await you they're up ahead there's right turns left turns goes up goes down mostly down the little dark but the 
uh, the suns. There is light constantly on this planet. And the ice is relatively oh. clean, actually. Frozen, solid, but relatively clean. So the ice permeates through all... Sorry, the, the light permeates through all of the ice. And almost no matter where you are, there is light on this planet. So typically, I wouldn't say let's split up. But I also did say we need to get all the eggs. So I think we split up since it's not that... I don't think there's that big of a threat on this planet. I think... Famous me and Aldred, last words. No. Me and Gigi go to the right. And Nara and Aldris go to the left. Alright. Works for me. <laughs> I look at Aldris and I laugh uncomfortably. <laughs> like with a cringe. Like a grimace. Like, uh... So. But keep on comms in case anything happens and yell if you need us. Yep. Will do. All right. Uh, from the planet, go ahead and separate. Move to where you guys wish to move. Yeet. Yeet. All right. The group splits up as uh, Nara and Aldris head down the left set of caverns. Y'all are going over here. Alrighty. And uh, moving about, we'll start with uh, the the primary cave of Georgiana and Ryder. You guys look up ahead. You see you see a single egg, just just sort of sitting by its lonesome, um, fully formed, fully ripe and ready for the taking. It's indeed about as large as a uh, he said it was about two feet tall. Is it definitely big? By itself. Yes. Interesting that this one's just by itself. You know they're normally in groups, so you're not sure if this one was freshly laid. Um, if the other's okay. hatched, you don't see you don't see broken or it's trapped. Yeah, you, you're not sure, but you do see one egg by itself. I'm gonna look at Georgina and be like, "Didn't uh, Nara say these things come in pairs?" Yeah. I don't like that this thing's by Clusters. itself. Clusters. Uh, gentlemen first, Captain. Uh, all right, give me give me a second. I'm, I'm I'm thinking of a plan here. Is there like loose snow around me? Uh. I wouldn't say loose, but there's definitely some, some snow around you. Ball. Yeah, oh, definitely, 100%. Yeah. Okay. I, like, use my robot hand to, to compact some snow really easily, and I just yeet it at the egg to see what happens. Okay. You throw the snowball at the egg, and it just kind of splats into it. Egg doesn't move, doesn't shift. It is far too heavy for that. Um, But it definitely it. It's not, a, not an illusion or anything. Okay, I don't, I don't see anything coming to its rescue. You notice at the bottom of the egg, the base, it seems to be frozen in place. Um. Huh. All right, I'm going to walk up to the egg and check it out. You said the bottom of the egg is frozen? Uh, yes. Uh, imagine an, uh, a nest for like an, for a bird, but turn the nest into ice, and it is just plopped right on there. So I would say we could move this, but I don't want to risk breaking the egg. You guys have the tools to remove it at a decent pace. It wouldn't take you long. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn one of my fingers into a torch and I'm gonna start. Psh, the, okay. Uh, you start pshing the ice. Uh, Ryder specifically, could you roll me a notice check? Notice me, senpai. Yeah, hey, because you're checking the room out. You're checking the egg out. You're looking around. Alrighty. You can tell that there might be something here, but you don't see it. You're 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 looking around a bit. And hey, uh, GG, keep your eyes uh locked and loaded. <laughs> and speaking of GG, uh Georgiana, I am going to invoke your third aspect. You just added loud and proud. I knew that was coming. <laughs> and I'm going to make you the target of this thing that is watching. If you choose okay. to, if you refuse this, um, no, I accept. You accept. So go ahead and give yourself a fate point. Uh, <laughs> I haven't decided which uh, which weapon she carries though. Okay, so you you get a fate point for that. Alrighty. As you're looking around, uh, Georgiana, you think you maybe hear something, but you're not entirely sure. What, what which weapon? Like, what do you have that protecting you while you're watching? I guess I just have a gun. It's a gun? Okay. Like, like a rifle or a pistol? 
Um, can it be a laser pistol? Everything's lasers. Perfect. We're in space. It's All right. Pistol. One pistol or two? Two. All right. You have dual laser pistols as you do, Georgiana, and you're looking about, checking the surroundings, and you hear that like tinny, uh, like echo of ice whenever it gets like tapped. And Ryder, that that draws your attention. You're looking around while you're trying to free this egg. You're not really sure where it's coming from, but you look up, Ryder, where Georgiana's Gigi, not what looking. Is that? And directly above Gigi, you see these strange creatures. Uh, their bodies are uh, long and egg-shaped. They have six legs, all ending in points. Uh, they're very similar to uh, what on Earth we call a praying mantis, except these praying mantis are huge. They're the size, they range anywhere from the size of a large dog to a small horse. And they begin to uh, chitter down from the ceiling. You can tell they've been watching Georgiana in her wonderful pink-purple bubblegumminess. And they mm -hmm. see her as the primary target as one leaps down to strike at Georgiana. I'm going to have to ask you to make an athletics defense roll. Uh, do I do that a special way? Or just... Nope. I'm, I'm letting you know it's defense because I'm attacking you. I need to up my athletics. Alrighty. The creature comes down to strike, and with attack and defense, when you are hit by something, you take damage equal to the number of shifts. So that is a four shift difference. You're going to take four damage from that unless you do something. Like what? Uh, invoke one of your fate points to reroll uh, or something oh, else. Sure. Am, am I able to help her? You are too. So one of you can use a fate point. So Ryder, uh, you you can use. So yeah, you have to use one of your aspects to do this. You can't just say ah reroll. Basically, which can I part? Use best shot in the galaxy. You very much can. So Georgiana, keep your fate point. Okay. Uh, Ryder, you use yours, and then uh, yes, Georgiana. He is now backing you up as he quickly turns. And what do you do? I'm gonna pull pull from my back like this. It, it looks like a compact pistol but it extends into a rifle like dope ass like cgi like, like our you know like sci-fi like okay and just turns into this like really cool looking sci-fi rifle nice all right um, you open gonna... fire and yeah. georgiana this allows you to add a plus two or to re-roll it is your choice you have you have cover fire try for a re-roll roll one for re-roll all right you gotta be a free hey you did already uh, when you're defending, you gain a boost on the defense. So I will say, uh, Georgiana, you are on your toes. Oops, negative one. Ha ha ha. All right. Uh, so I don't think you guys can move the drawings. Um, I'm pretty sure I can give you guys ability to do so. I'm gonna put your tokens like this, just to make it easier to tell who has uh, which thing so I can stack it easier but you guys are on top of the bottom like that okay. just makes my job a lot easier I'll put you guys like this no they go the other way sigh already the creature lashes out at you Georgiana but you dive back quickly with the assist of your friend Ryder and the shot echoes throughout the halls uh, you can tell two more are coming down Ryder Naran Aldris you hear this what are you two doing keep walking as, as you head down the, <laughs> as you head down the left caves you hear in the distance someone's gun went off you don't hear any screaming though presumably they have it under control you know if there's no screaming i'm not gonna worry about They're it <laughs> look i'm all bruised right now time, i'm not feeling so... great Good enough. what i mean what really could i do anyway you know what i mean it's true let's be honest here yeah i'm not doing yeah. good well, I mean, plus we have open comms, so if we need if we need help, we'll, we'll yell. Uh, heading forward, the two of you actually see what was a pack of three eggs, but they have hatched. So there's most likely three babies running around somewhere. In our cave or their cave? Left cave. Okay. Oh boy. Not feeling good about that. All right, and All moving right. forward, you guys take a turn around the right side. You see multiple smaller caves as uh, sort of arc and turn off onto various different areas. And Nara, as you're moving here, you recall reading something about prey? Some other smaller predator that liked eating these eggs. So maybe those didn't hatch. Maybe they were eaten. 
they also like using them as bait sometimes to get other prey or ghouls uh, to come attack them. And usually it's relatively obvious, such as, you know, an egg being left alone. But, eh, whatever. Uh, you, 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 egg you being left alone. You told the team, right? Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I did. Perfect. You know, I stayed up for quite a long time. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah. It is what it is. You're the one who want to go have Nookie. Okay? It's uh, you, Maybe I you should have been on the ship doing research instead of relying on me. I gotta relax before a tough mission. <laughs> That's so great for you. Um, you could have right. joined if you wanted to, you know. Uh, I've I've been there, done that. I'm I'm good. Hey, you said we ended on amicable terms. Don't get that okay, done with well. me. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> All right, you're fine. that's fair. <laughs> uh, it's fine. I'm not bitter at all. Um, wow. <laughs> just, I'm just kidding. Um, I'm going to keep going. Um, can I scan again to see if there's any nearby movement? Uh, sure, yeah. Uh, go ahead and just roll a notice for that. And then Aldris, what are you doing while she's checking the area? Miss Mr. Birdman. Uh, oh, I'm just looking around for worms, making sure nothing happens. Looking for worms? I mean, as you do. Looking that is your specialty. Worms. How dare. <laughs> All right, you're you're. I you. <laughs> All right, and as, as you're as you're looking about, uh, you guys are kind of taking your time. You're you're scanning a bit to see if there's any worms or any movement nearby. And while you do sense a subtle something, you're not entirely sure what it is. Uh, Nara, and you continue to head uh, forward. You notice that rather than heading uh, straight, this area actually ends after some walking in a pit. It, it is definitely something that was dug by the worms, but it heads almost perfectly straight down. And uh, Nara and I'll just you look down this hole, and as I mentioned, there is light bouncing uh, and refracting off of every wall and every surface, but it's relatively hard to see down there. What did the two of you do? This is the end of the hallway, by the way. I think we should go down there. I can make a magic light. Okay, well, it's almost straight down, and I just, you know, fell down a 45 degree incline. You is it big enough for me to, like, float it is, down, kind of? It's at least 15 feet wide. It's a, almost perfectly circular as okay. well. It'd be a little tight. Uh, oh no, it's, it's, it's 15 feet across, so you guys are e easily fit. I mean, if you want to go, I'm down, I say very nervously. I will send a little magic light orb down. Okay, uh, you do so. And then follow it a little bit behind. And you're, you're flying behind it? Yeah, I'm just letting it go down first. So how's, an, how's an, uh, an, are you just waiting? Um... I guess I try to follow him down. It is straight down. You don't have to. Yeah, it is. Th there's don't... no way to follow him unless you uh, have something, or if he helped uh, you with magic yeah. or something, yeah, or, or yeah, if you use one of your abilities, of course. Yeah, I don't. I don't really have anything for this, so. You have your crafts. Um... I can try to carry you down. Yeah, I mean, so the sort of thing is, uh, in this situation, that this would be what we're trying to do is we're trying to overcome going straight down. Uh, fortunately, I'll just fly, so yeah, you can just fly down. Um, with uh, with Nara though, there could be multiple things. So you could create an advantage for yourself to go down. I'll just you can create an advantage for Nara by using your magics, and then Nara you could use your crafts to make something viable, and then you would roll that to go down with his boost. If that makes any sense. Yeah. So you, you could say like, oh, I, you know, quickly put something together, uh, whatever. So, it may be. so we are in the, we are in the far work. future. Yeah. That thing that didn't work before, can I repurpose it? Yes. So uh, to quickly rephrase, um, I guess to further explain the mechanics, uh, if you were, that last thing was actually a great example. So for example, um, if you are going down something and I ask for an athletics roll and your athletics is garbage, you can say, so you guys are always welcome to suggest something. If I say no, then just move on. Um, but if, if 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 it makes sense, 
obviously let's not butt heads but if if i say oh make an athletics roll for this like oh can i use my, my robot to help me jump over this i can go yeah it makes sense sure go for it and it might not need an aspect or a fate or a skill or something that might just be something that you do um because once again that logically makes sense so if i say make an, athletic, make an athletics roll and you fail it you can't then go oh can i make a tinker roll to help myself you've already failed the roll we have to do this one roll first because you've already failed it um if you start the roll with crafting instead or drive or investigator phys not physique usually but it was something different uh Aldrich could have said i only use my magic to slow down i would be like yeah sure go for it because, th because that's something that Aldrich allowed to do he has a stunt that says i can use magic for things instead so he could have said i want to use my magic instead and i would have said go for it uh but halfway down if he failed he couldn't change to using magic because he he's already failed the athletics roll that mm -hmm. makes any sense well i think i'd like to um also, oh, we, we are in the far future, so you, you can be as weird as you want with the technology. You guys have lights, you guys have ropes, you guys have tons of things. I think I like to repurpose those. Um, the climbing guess, gear, basically? Yeah, like yeah. The, the climbing gear to... my brain is just not, not working so you don't need to be too specific uh you're more welcome to just say i'll repurpose the climbing gear to you know better assist myself in going down because it already is climbing gear so that, that makes sense okay you, you don't have to yeah, make it too hard all right then i'll uh i'll do that then, then and um i mean how far does it look like the thing goes down uh, watching aldris go down it's at least 50 50 or so feet falling down this would 100 percent kill you Okay. Or close to it. Hey, hey Aldris. Hmm. So, I'm gonna be climbing down here. Clearly, this has not worked out for me before. Uh huh. Uh, so, I would appreciate it if you could keep an eye out in case I fall. Don't worry, I'll, I'll catch you. So, if you want Aldris. Maybe. Um, before she does this, you can roll to create an advantage using your lore and just tell me maybe you create an air cushion or something. And depending on how well you do, she can use that as a boost. Wait, am I like at the bottom at this point? Or You're where you want to be. Where, where you, you, you can fly. So, you can be at the bottom, you can be at the top, you can be in the middle. You got wings. I'll make a few like small air cushions going down to get more dense, I guess as they go lower sure so it's uh, so like slower fall that makes sense i'll go ahead and roll lore and this is a create an advantage roll. juicy as a mother okay you succeeded with style so you can create an aspect with two free invokes uh that aspect is what you said it was uh air cushion and i will have two free invokes so nara uh repurposing all your goods uh, i will definitely say that's a craft roll so you're kind of you're teching and you're you're, you're messing with things Okay, so it's a craft roll? That would be a craft roll, yeah. Uh, I'm also going to add one timer to this for both of your guys' um, actions, for, for the left cave and the right cave. Um, okay, so I, I was I was actually going to say the, the difficulty on this uh, going straight down is actually a two, so you, you did uh, tie with it, which means you would normally succeed at a minor cost, but because you have the air cushions, you can invoke one of those for free, which brings you up to a four. So you succeed. All right, All right. I'll do that. So it's a little slippery, yeah. little touch and go for a second. Maybe the, the rope slips a little bit, or maybe maybe the metal doesn't stick in the ice as much as you wanted to. This shit's real thick. Um, but your 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 a... your slight fall is slowed, and you're like, oh okay, maybe just fate decided I don't die today, uh, or maybe I'll just use his fancy magics. But using um, uh, when we're on the ground, I uh, I give him a high five. Hell yeah, bird five. Excellent. Nice. And you guys look about, and down here you can see there are uh, multiple eggs uh, just up ahead, maybe 50 to 100 or so feet. And as you guys are looking through this room, uh, it is even more silent and a little bit darker down here. We'll cut back to Ryder and Georgiana. These creatures are starting to flow down into the cave. Uh, Ryder, you obviously have to turn your attention away from the egg for now. Georgiana, you're now diving uh, away from this thing. Uh, we can sort of do a, a light initiative uh, since these things are going to be very... I know, I know. This is my enemy token. I apologize. It's adorable, isn't it? All right, there are currently three of them. Uh, I'll just say you guys go, uh, and then they go, since y'all's got the initiative to jump on them. But there I was, blasting. 
<laughs> all right, so you see three creatures. They're all about the, these three specifically are about the size of a large dog. A oh, large dog? Yes, a large dog. Their long bladed arms just barely missing you, Georgiana, as you dive out of the way. And now you're matched with I one of them the and two chittering down. Her. Sure. So I don't like that. Roll to shoot, buddy. All right, I will roll to defend. He has a plus one on athletics. Well, unfortunately, fate has it on my side, unless you wish to use one of your abilities to overcome me. Uh, my abilities? Mm-hmm. You can invoke one of your aspects to give yourself a plus two or a reroll. should have stayed in my mech. <laughs> uh, what did you say it again? She said uh, she said that she should have said her mech, no, no, but no. Wait, so wait, when, you when you attack, so you attacked, and if you tie against my defense, which you did, you gain a boost, which basically means the next time you roll, you get a plus two for free. Uh, if you wish, you can invoke one of your aspects for a fate point, which would make sense, best shot in the galaxy, because you are, and you'd add plus two, which means you have a five and you would do two damage because you're now two above my that defense. One. All right, so go ahead and use one of your fate points, go down to two. And because Ryder is the best shot in the galaxy, uh, you, it's a little touch and go for a second. The creature does dive out of the way, but you quickly whip your gun and you're able to uh, just kind of da -da 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 shoot across it. And fortunately for you guys, these things are actually relatively weak. And uh, in a single spattering of laser fire, Ryder, you take this creature down. Tell me how you do it. Well, I kill it. You kill it in one shot. Yeah, you nailed him. This is the one that's jumping at GG, right? Uh, it was until you interrupted it. All right, gang, gang. So, so, so rude. Again, Gigi turns around, hears some shit. She pulls out her double pistols, and then I'm torching it, whatever. And she's like, yo, there's some stuff coming. I'm like, gang, gang. So I turn around from my fi finger fire, pull out my gun, and then the thing jumps at her. I'm like, oh, shit. Slow motion, gun goes goo, 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 goo. <laughs> I turn. I see her like, oh, fuck, this thing has sharp blades. And I'm like, not today, motherfucker. And I just like you just see like blood bug splatter right on the wall. Eww. Wonderful. Nice. All right, Georgiana, rolling away, your weapons drawn. What do you do? They're uh, quickly okay. descending from the ceiling. I mean I have to shoot, right? You can do whatever you want. You can create an advantage, you can shoot, you can hit it. Up to you. Create an advantage. Uh they are relatively weak. They all look about the same strength. How am I gonna create an advantage? I don't know. It's up to you. What, what does Georgiana want to do? What would Georgiana do in this situation? Well, I just saved the, your life. WWGD. <laughs> um. I mean, you can just blast if you want. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. See, I'm a pilot. I'm a pilot girl. I should have come in with mech. Okay. I'm just gonna shoot. All right, start blasting. Pray to God, I don't miss. <laughs> uh, what is, did you put all your skills in? Huh? You put all your skills in? You did, okay. And you are not good at shooting, it looks like. I am not good at shooting. All right. I am good at fighting inside my mech. <laughs> inside my mech. I rolled worse than you did. Heck yeah. I rolled a negative two with a plus one, okay. Uh, God, this is weird. All right, well, you did beat me by one shift, technically. Um, so your gunfire uh, just spatters across as this thing's carapace. And while you don't uh, destroy it in a single blow, you can tell that it is weakened and bleeding. One of them will dive to you, Georgiana. The other one will dive to Ryder. Blades drawn. The creature will strike at Ryder first. All right, this thing has a plus two to attack. Um, when you defend, uh, you defend with athletics or fight because it's going toe to toe with you. I'll let you choose. Are you rolling or? Uh, yes. Okay, my bad. All right, I got a minus one to my attack. All right, and you roll to defend, and with that, you succeed with style, I believe. So not only do you ignore damage, but you also gain a boost. Uh, as the creature jumps towards you, uh, are you defending with one of your melee weapons, or are you uh, just kind of diving backwards and like shooting with the gun to kind of keep it back? Does it kill it? No, oh, so when you defend, you don't do damage, unless you have a certain okay. uh, ability. Well, I'll just uh, uh, rifle butt it in its face. Perfect. Uh, so he, he, once again, you don't uh, damage or anything, but it does jump in. I know. I'm just yeah. 
uh, because now, you've got that dude's I will say, I will say, you can take a stunt. This is whenever you succeed with style and a defense, you can add damage to the enemy. So that is a stunt you guys are allowed to have. Um, stunts are basically made to break rules. So if you think that's super cool, basically parrying somebody, you're more than welcome to do that. Um, so the I enemy... You can have three stunts though, right? You can only have three for now, but you will get more. Uh, you can also technically purchase another stunt, and then your refresh goes down to two, meaning you only start with two fame points. So you kind of gimp yourself, but you have more options, which is awesome. Alrighty. So uh, that happens. The creature jumps forward, and it's like screaming. It's like... And it's like ch -ch 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 -ch. You see its blades like slashing across the guy's but you're able to dive off to the side and kind of whap it in the face. And then the other one jumps to you, Georgiana. Once again, you can defend with fight, or you can defend with athletics. I have a zero. Can you beat my zero, Georgiana? Yeah, you can. All right, you too also have a boost. Um, I won't write it out, but both of you have a plus two to your next roll. Nice. All right. Ryder. I'm gonna pop this guy in the face with my gun. All right. Like shoot him. Pop, pop, yeah. pop, pop. Roll shoot, buddy. All righty. How do we do it? I'm gonna like, because I like rifle butted him in the face. So he kind of like, chitters and like slams against like the the wall and i'm yeah. gonna pin him with my boot against the wall and just like unload on his noggin hell yeah you just turn him into a paste all right georgiana i'm gonna flip backwards okay all right roll it up all right my defense is inadequate as i go down um i just shoot him in the gut you just shoot him in the gut all right, as he slides uh, forward, attempting to strike at you again, you do a flip backwards and then a quick poof in the gut and poof in the gut. You just blah, blah. And his core being defeated with your gunfire, the creature just crumples into itself and fades. You hear more chittering up ahead, up, up above. Uh, I'm going to turn to George, Georgina and be like, you know what they say. Boy. No. Best shot in the galaxy. I like <laughs> yes, Captain, you're so cool. <laughs> hey, what about you? That was a dope ass flip. Thanks. <laughs> See, you're not just a pilot. I knew you got some fight in you. Yeah, but I'm better at being a pilot. Also, you can tell from your guys' current position, staying here would be a fool's errand. This is most likely um, probably a real egg, but it might be no good. It's by itself, it's most likely bait. Uh, up ahead, you see uh, another uh, another tunnel. This one looks more like a slide, actually. It's a relatively uh, straightforward, but you hear more chittering from above, uh, as if there's either a hive or something. More of these creatures are Good soon slide. to come, though. I'm proud, down we go. All right, down yeah. we go, down we go, down we go. Aldris and Nara, while you guys are waiting there, you hear a slippery sound coming from your right and you prepare your weapons except you see Ryder and Georgiana arrive oh. as they kind of plop down a slide directly next to you convenient very nice convenient to you here. Slide. oh hi well hello there how's it going how's it going oh uh we were attacked <laughs> don't worry we had, we, we had it under control squinty eyes at Nara why as you guys, why, why are you squinting at me like that? My squinty eyes? Did you warn us? I don't remember. Yeah. <laughs> Did I tune Jeez. you out? I might have tuned Did you, you out. You didn't even, you didn't even <laughs> listen to me at all. My bad. I did hours of some, research for y'all. There, there, there's some prey mantis bugs coming at us. We need to get these eggs and skedaddle. Okay, that's fair. But you know, where let's, are the eggs? Uh, are they here? Going. Uh, you guys look know, up ahead. All we found was a bait egg, so... You guys look up ahead and about uh, 50, 60 feet up ahead, you do see uh, some eggs. But along the way, as you guys look throughout this room, um, up ahead and against the ceiling, you see uh, stalactites. Many, many, many frozen stalactites. And this room is darker and more silent than the others as you guys are going down and down into these caves. I assume it's getting colder too, right? It is definitely getting colder, yeah. I, I, it's currently What's ticking. What's our... Uh... The two. 
We're at two. Yeah, two, so two, two ticked. Eight to go. You guys, you guys are All right, so, so we have two ticked and zero eggs acquired. Which is to be expected yeah. uh, from, from your research, Nara. The eggs are deeper in. So basically, once you get there, you'll have all the eggs you can use. Okay. Could I have brought my mech through these tunnels? Theoretically, yes, but it would have made a lot of noise and done a lot of damage. It does, does uh, Gigi look like she's thinking about it? Yes. I look over at Gigi. She can't help I'm it. Like, I'm like... She's always thinking about it. I'm like, she's always thinking... <laughs> don't even think about it. Think about what? Do you not hear the amount of noise that I made? Yeah, I mean, and if I had my mech, I could shoot them better. Maybe you should just be a better shot outside of your mech. Oh, you just shoot, shoot better. <laughs> just don't be bad. <laughs> how, how, how far are the eggs from us? 60 feet. what you're doing. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run over to the first group of eggs. Right, you, you're running over? Yeah. Don't run over. Walk softly, please. Basically, he's running over. All right. You run forward. Uh -huh. We spent so much time trying not to well, make okay, noise. Not run. Not like sprint, but like like a good jog. A good jog. Okay. A like, healthy a good a speed walking. A healthy jog? No, faster than speed walking, but like not bolting over there. Right, right, right. Quick, quick, quick enough then. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, well, I'll well, go. We're walking closer. He, he are is. We are, all walking closer? are you guys following? He kind of went off in a super power walk, turbo walk. Uh, I'm not going at a power walk, but okay. I'll turn towards it. But before that happens, turn back to Gigi and I'm like, that was mean of me. I'm sorry. <laughs> and then I walk off. <laughs> You're not forgiven. Well, in that wow. case, I'm not sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and then I keep walking. Alrighty. Uh, moving in, uh, Ryder, I'll have to ask you to make an athletics overcome roll. Uh, we're trying to beat a, uh, just a one. You're, you're already in motion. Do a what? Uh, athletics roll. No, I mean, like, roll, roll what? Athletics. We're trying to beat a one. Oh, gang, gang. Yep, it's overcome Always. roll. Holy mother of God. Alrighty. Uh, well, since you're already in motion, uh, fortunately for you, a stalactite comes hurtling down and smashes into the ground. Fortunately, you're able to dodge it with ease. With crazy ease, actually. With beautiful uh, ease. With beautiful ease. Uh, unfortunately, another falls, and another falls, and another falls. Uh, and for the uh, the rest of you, Aldris, Nara, and Georgiana, I'll have to ask you to make the same roll, except this one will be at it, too. I'm gonna, so, I'm gonna, well, I don't have to shout because we have comms. I'm gonna be like, hey, uh, watch out for falling stuff. All right. What are we? Uh, roll athletics. We're trying to beat athletics. a two. Yeah. Oh, come on. I die. <laughs> All right. Well. We die. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, if you guys wish to invoke something, you're welcome to do so. Otherwise. Um, can I invoke my own skill to shove Nara out of the way or pull her out of the way? Can you, can you use which skill? My own on your toes in invoke? No, unfortunately. Oh, uh. Uh. He pushes me really hard. I <laughs> will. Like right next to them. I will say, if you use that and one of your fate points to help a friend. Okay. Yes. Even though she's being mean to me, I do still love her. All right. Uh, because of that, you completely helped Nara, but to Aldris, you unfortunately did fail. So you have one of two options. You can just outright fail and take the damage, or you, you can succeed at a great cost. Up to you. Hmm. I'll just take the failure. It's fine. You will take the failure. All right. I'll be fine. All righty. Uh, I guess on, on that note, uh, you're no longer coming down. That is indeed fixed, like I said it would be. Uh, but right, unfortunately... Now, can I use my my second aspect i use magic for everything try to like block it it's like a barrier you may definitely do that yes uh you're trying to beat a two so that would have to be a re-roll not a not a yeah. plus two yeah but yes you can definitely do that go ahead and subtract one fate point and roll me athletics again my friend i believe all right so as you're diving out of the way you attempt to erect a magical barrier to deflect these stalactites did it go 
I hit it like three times now. Please. Weird. Oh, unfortunate. Unfortunate. All right, that is, that is unfortunately still. I mean, it's better than a negative one, right? Uh, te technically, no. It's the same thing. Uh, a fail is a fail. Oh. Yeah. You you, you don't. The fail. number's higher. Yeah, the number was higher, but a fail is still a fail, unfortunately. <laughs> Actually, that, that is equal to a plus two as well. Damn. Bigger number make me feel good. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but yes, you, you do dive out of the way, Aldris, but unfortunately, these are much larger and spikier than you were anticipating, and they shatter through your shield and strike and cut into your flesh. Uh, take three shifts of damage. Wonderful. All right. More noise, unsurprisingly. As you all begin to move forward, you hear a slithering and a shifting up ahead and all around you. Uh, but fortunately, your quarry is up ahead. You see uh, plenty of eggs, at least eight. What do y'all do? These are not frozen down. They are I, seated uh, nicely there, in snow. Eggs up ahead. There are two bundles of four eggs. I'm going to go over to one of the bundles okay. and try to pick them up. Okay. Uh, are you using the device that you guys you have? Well, yeah, I'm going to pick them up and put them on the device. Perfect. Okay. Um, I don't know where to put this here, I think. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> I'll go ahead and put that on your token that will say Ryder has four eggs on him. So dang, Ryder, dang. you employ, deploy the device and it kind of whoop, 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 it floats over and uh, beams of light shoot out and create an anti-gravitational force around the four eggs that sort of hovers around this device. And this device is chained to you, Ryder. So where you go, the device will go. These four eggs are now following Ryder. There are four more eggs if anyone wishes to grab them. I'll grab them. I'll grab two. And two each? Sure, yeah. All right, two each. Georgiana has two. And Nara has two. All righty, we have eight eggs so far. Hey, I'll just you okay? to get 12. I'll be fine. It is indeed is indeed getting colder. Uh, you are in pain. And uh, up ahead is another cave that goes deeper and deeper into the mine. The Moria. We are deeper. Deeper we go. All right. I'm just going to put you guys over. Uh, oh, I'll keep you guys here, actually. And just so we're going deeper since we have not separated from each other. All right. All boosts and such will fade because we're done with that scene. And heading down, heading down. Uh, you guys see an area that is just really confounding to look at. Uh, it looks as if the the worms are able to slither through here without much of an issue. Um, but how a biped is supposed to get through here is well, somewhat confusing and concerning. The area goes forward, but then it looks like it just kind of dips down. And there's various spikes, stalactites, coming up out of the ground uh, and such. And it's littered. Uh, the, the, this whole area, it, it's basically a giant open room. Uh, a lot of them are coming up, so they 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 range anywhere from like 50 to almost 100 feet, starting from the ground and coming up. And you can see, looking down, this whole area kind of shifts uh, down a bit. <clears throat> Not all of them end in spikes. They're actually kind of flat-ish. And you sort of see you could almost jump from like stalag might to stalag might in a way they're not perfectly even it would definitely take you some time you could also go down and almost like traverse a forest of these things to get to the other side um but it looks as if you were if you were a giant worm you could kind of just slither over them because similar to you know lying on a bed of nails it doesn't hurt when you're huge and there's a whole bunch of nails not sure i keep with that but all right <laughs> So, you're, so I wouldn't personally do it, but people can do it. Coming from up and down. Uh, yes, there, there, there's spikes and such anywhere, everywhere, but there is definitely room for a massive worm to move through here. Uh, it's just, unfortunately, there are there aren't enough good steps to get through. Uh, so you guys have options if you wish to go through here slowly. I will add uh, one to the tick, uh, and I'll I'll lower whatever the difficulty is and just say uh, roll me stealth so that you're not seen and that you're careful. It'll just be a difficulty of one. Bit. If you guys want to go can fast, we can go fast. Um, or I'll put it this way. If you go slow, I'll add two ticks. If you go fast, I'll add one tick. Um, and then for fast, I'll let you all choose, but I'm going to default to athletics. If you can think of a different way, that's perfectly fine. Uh, that works for me. Okay. I choose fast. We're one fast? All right, sounds like we're one fast. Okay. Uh, which skill do you wish to use to traverse this area? I'm good with what I've been using. Okay, so yeah. athletics. Athletics works for me. Okay, 
I don't have anything better. All right. Uh, the difficulty on this one will indeed be a two for athletics. Oh, dear God. That's oh, I wish you... I wish I would have waited. Gotta wait for me to say it. <laughs> I choose pilot. Like I said, if, if you have extra shit you can uh, somehow use, I will gladly let it work. If only you had your mech. Yeah, because you, you do have... I had my mech. You do have... Ma so you guys can help each other here. You guys can use over... So for an overcome roll, you guys can create advantages for each other if you want. Um, since you guys have already rolled, we can kind of pause it there. We can say someone else, you guys can create advantages for, not yourself, usually, not for this at least. Um, but you guys can create advantages for each other, whether you be using a, a some sort of technology, some sort of item, magic, wait, something. Oh, wait, you can help people rolled, get through this easier. So, Nara, you have, like, crafts and such. You can help people get through this. Um, or you just succeeded outright. Okay. Oh. Um, can we shoot some slack tikes over to, like, make a bridge type thing, or no? Uh, yeah, sure. We can say you can use maybe not you because you're shoot zero, right? Yeah. Yeah, I can shoot um, it. He can shoot it. So yes. So uh, I, I will suggest my idea to the captain. Yes. Yeah, so we'll say retroactively. And I listen. Yes. Yeah, so we'll say retroactively. <laughs> Ryder, you went to help Georgiana specifically. I won't even say what I was going to say because you nailed it. Um, Whoa! Yes. Yeah, so, so, the galaxy. All right. So <laughs> per perfect. Here's a perfect example. Uh, so Ryder, you shoot and you will say you you down, and you properly. Uh, break away the right amount of slag mites and slag tights um, and with this create advantage roll you can create an aspect with two free invokes so i'll say this aspect is uh the you know cleared way and it has two free invokes well that means a plus two or a reroll so georgiana yours turns to a two and Ryder, yours would have turned to a three so i'll say retroactively you guys can use that so now you both succeed because you guys used um the create advantage roll and then aldris you can choose to either use magic uh boost yourself probably don't use athletics. I'm not sure what your athletics is, but up to you. One. Okay, probably not then. <laughs> well, you know, it's better than mine. You did succeed. Did zero. Your, your zero did... still succeeded. You rolled three positives and a negative. Dice. Leaving the dice? All right. I'm going to regret this, aren't I? Leaving nah. the oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> Definitely Never mind. not. All right. Oh, my God. This is what I get for believing. You, I mean, you, you can use your magic to try to reroll that. Leave in the heart of the cart. No, no, never mind. Wrong game. God, Wrong is there game. anything I can do to help that? Retro I try to make like magic light bridge. Um, in response, you can use one of your fate points to assist him, but he does have two fate points, and he can he can definitely use one of his. Yeah. Um, oh yeah. So yeah, I only have one. Yeah. Go ahead and use one, one of your fate points, and you uh, empower your magic. Aldris, as you're beginning to slip up, back. erect the light bridge. Reroll plus one. I believe. There it is, buddy. Hell yeah. yeah. All right. You all succeed and get through this room. No one takes any damage. No additional time is added. We are safe. Nothing horrible. Definitely nothing horrible would have happened here. But as you guys leave this room, you look behind you. Georgiana and Reiner, you recognize some of the creatures that were following you. They're still hot on your toes. Fortunately, fortunately, they're far away enough that you don't need to currently worry about them as you guys move through this room very quickly. So good job there. Dodged a bullet. Oh, real fast. <laughs> Indeed. Looking up ahead, though, you guys notice that this room, the entire thing was shifting downward, which is what made it so difficult to traverse. Fortunately, that means you are deeper, 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 and further into the caves. I won't say this is the furthest you can possibly go, but this is pretty damn far. And looking up ahead, you can see a plethora of eggs. I'm going to look tell at the you, group. I'm going to be like... We need to get 16 total eggs before we get out of here. I'm sorry, we need to get how many? 16, four each. Yeah, four each, yes. You, you can get four each, and you can also carry one. So technically, you can get more than that, but that's risky. So we currently have... Eight. Eight. And so in this room, I will not... Eight more yeah. plus potentially... Four more. Yes, your, your, your arms would be uh, occupied, but yes. Uh, and I won't tell you how many eggs are in this room because there's more than enough for your group. All right. Yeah. You better get hey, can you tell me the exact crackin'. number of eggs in this room? Uh, there are 97 eggs. Oh, thank oh, you. <laughs> wow. And as I say that, there is now 96, 95, 94. And with that, I'll ask you each to roll me some no, 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 notice. I don't like that he's counting down. 
actually... Fuck! I... Okay, no, I've already made my notice really good. I'm I don't notice say... anything because I was talking to the group. And exactly. I was facing away. Precisely. Um, as, as all this bit is happening, uh, you guys are having a chit chat and Georgiana kind of peels away for a moment as she's checking all the eggs. And just across the way, Georgiana, you actually notice, if you will, another group of hunters. Oh. There's only three of them, but you indeed notice another group of hunters. They are across the way. They might not notice you. You can't entirely tell, but there Do are Do I three... notice them? You... I don't notice them. World what? Zero. No, you don't. I rolled a zero. Can somebody point them out to me? Because, you know, maybe they're one of those people that I took that information from. Be stretching out of the type to crouch down or stand tall? Stand tall, but you should crouch. You are short, so... <laughs> Stand tall, but you're practically <laughs> crouching. All right. I'm not going to crouch, but I will say, psst, psst, Captain. What? Incoming. And I point. And looking across the way, you see three bounty hunters. Okay. Group, 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 group. Group up. Huddle All up. Right. Huddle up real quick. Huddled. We get, we get in the huddle. All right. I'm like this. We're going to ignore them for now because this is part of the plan. We get our 16 eggs. We get the fuck out of here. Once we see that they get close to their mothership, we intercept them, steal their eggs, and we have more eggs. And then we bolt out of here like lightning. You know, Captain. I'm down. <laughs> I think it's a great idea, honestly. As much as I would love to show off how good of a pilot I am, I think it's a bad idea. Don't worry, I'm the best shot. Idea. I'll just man the guns <laughs> while you fly away. All right. <laughs> And on that note, you did notice something, Nara. When you looked at their group, one of the three bounty hunters seemed to be mechanical in nature. And you remember looking back to your various notes and such that there is something interesting about this individual. A lot of red tape surrounded his file and you just you need to know what they were hiding. What's he have inside him? So I'm gonna invoke your first what? aspect, and you want to okay. hack into this guy. I do. Oh, I really do. Okay, so go go ahead and <laughs> add, give yourself a fate point. Okay. All right. Um. So yes, the, the the team decided peace out, but before you do that, he's right I, there. He's right oh, there. Oh, while while everybody's like about to go ahead and pull a data pad. Okay. Out of my out of my jacket okay or like something you know like a whatever it, it is that i why do so, they call those things in uh wait are like you saying the Omni tool? other bounty hunter group is piecing out no they're they're, they're, no, they're we're chilling. supposed to be piecing oh, out yeah okay but one of them i'm like who is mechanical in nature has caught my eye so do i do it which one do i uh how do i um so I, I will say this role is uh, slightly different. Stunt. Um, Not quite in, a stunt. Right. So in terms of how this one's gonna play out, I'm calling it really loud. Yeah, but it's really loud. Um, all right. So we're we're going how this is gonna play out. To hack into him and actually get the goods, uh, you're gonna need to get closer, whether that be through stealth or whether that be through walking up and chit chatting with them or you know your party chit chatting with them. You know you're gonna get, need to get at least within ten feet of him. Um, That's really close. Yes. That is really close. Yes. I'm okay. You can try um, it from 20 feet, but you'll have a disadvantage. 10 no, feet is, is that it. juicy. I need to get it close. I want to see it. Yeah. Where is everybody can, else around me? Can we start collecting uh, the other eggs while she's doing this? Uh, sure. How many eggs would you guys like to grab? It, it, they are huge, so it's be relatively obvious that eggs are floating. Remember, so imagine like a banjo kazooie. These eggs are like floating around you. <laughs> it's really oh. obvious. Well, Aldris needs four, and then Gigi needs two more. Yeah, so do you guys want to grab these eggs now? If you want, you can. Th this thing is like a belt. You can take off the belt, leave it on the ground, and it will float around the belt. Stay there. I mean, right. yeah, well, I'd, Nara, I'd rather grab them. Before you do your them. thing, load, load up your, your belt before you go to your thing. I'm like, I'm staring at this guy. I'm like, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm like staring at him, and they're like handing me an egg, and I'm like... 
just holding it there. Okay. <laughs> all right. Uh, I'll, I'll just start. Are you grabbing eggs? I guess, yeah. All, all of them or just like one or two? I'll get one or two for now. Okay. So you, just, you only have two, which is not too crazy looking. And uh, Georgiana? I'll grab two more. Okay. You have... All of you have maximum eggs for Aldris. Uh, it will be relatively easy for you to grab the last two Aldris, so you don't need to worry too much about that. But you guys are all egged up. This is wonderful. Uh, all right, so I'm that note. have you shared this information with your friends that you want to hack that boy? I say, I say, Cap. Uh, I got to do it, and I start moving forwards. <laughs> Oh, All right, are you guys going to do anything to assist her in this? I'm going to try to stealth my way over. Uh, no. I like watching her work. Yeah, I'm just going to watch her. <laughs> okay. Because we uh, already plan on thieving from these people, so I don't want to talk to them. <laughs> All right, uh, Alders, do you, do you wish to assist? Oh, she's sneaking up. Matt, so I like... Yeah, me mechanically how it works is you would just create an advantage for her to... So basically... Yeah, I know. Yeah. I'm trying to think about how I would... Okay. Like, I feel like a darkness cloud is uh, a little too obvious. Yeah, yeah. Just a bit. What about a fog? What if you... It is foggy down it here. It's cold. Like she was an egg. That was... <laughs> I'm just kidding. She looks like an egg. <laughs> it's just a box. Could you fog oh, no. or um, it's never gone. just a box. Snake. Otacon. Otacon. Maybe. None of my ass cheats clapping keeps on notifying the oh, game. No. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, help me out. <laughs> uh how much light is down here basically just like flashlights and stuff? Uh yes. Probably so it. yeah. So th they clearly have flashlights. You you guys have your flashlights which are currently off because you're trying to hide. Um, and there is a small amount of light that's coming through the ceiling, uh, refracted through the ice. I'll just make it a little bit foggier in here. Okay. So it's harder to see. Sure. I'm um, just going to roll me some lore as you prepare a fog cloud to follow around uh, Nara. Wonderful. Uh, we'll say this uh, indeed is what we're, we're shooting for. Um, and we'll, we'll just say create, that creates a, a temporary boost uh, for Nara. And we'll say that that's just uh, clouded. In a good way. So, Nara, which will give you a plus two or a reroll, Nara, which you can invoke for free. Just roll me stealth. We're trying to beat, I want to say, are you, okay, I'll ask you, are you sneaking up 10 feet or 20 feet? Um, I'm trying to sneak up to 10 feet. Okay, 10 feet. To get 10 feet within them. 10 feet is so fucking close. That's really close. That, it that's, is really close. That's going to be a challenge I'm rating of... Behind that, some, I'm trying to hide behind to. some eggs yeah. and fog. That's a challenge rating of four, then, as you slowly start sneaking up. Roll me some stealth. Lord. Okay, you you have the smoke, you have which gives you two. a plus two, so that's a five. Nice. So you succeeded. All right. So you are within 10 feet of this robotic person. And you whip out your data pad. And now that you're this close, you're going to actually need to hack into him with your burglary skills. All right. Do I get uh, um, a plus on that at all? So your burglary is a plus three, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, mine, my notice is a plus three because I'm a robot man. So we're going to roll against each other and then see who wins. And of course, if you okay. want to invoke one of your hoo-hahs, you're more welcome to do so. Uh, but all the same. Uh, how can I invoke it? Uh, so first you roll. And then if you lose, okay. or if you want to win more. <laughs> I do. <laughs> yeah, so go ahead and roll me some burglary. Your hacking skills, you whip out your data pad. Ho 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 ho! Get shit on me. I rolled four negatives. All right, normally this person would be very aware of their surroundings, but as you- But suddenly there's all this fog there. There's all this <laughs> fog. These eggs are looking real nice. And he starts collecting them along with his other two compatriots. And the three of them are just collecting eggs. It makes enough sound uh, that Nara, you're able to sneak up within 10 feet of this dude. And you don't have time to, you know, look through the data now, but you're just like slurping. The, you're just, you're drinking his milkshake up. <laughs> oh, <whoa. laughs> this is I drink your milkshake. Delicious. <laughs> my favorite meal. Um, so I'm transferring all this onto my... Yeah. And he's not gonna know you did it. You succeeded by right. a massive amount. All right. 
the second the download is completed, okay. I start backing about backing away. Okay. Uh, we'll, we'll say that can all happen in uh, one swift motion. And uh, spending the time here like we are, I'm going to add one more tick to the frozen meter. You guys have uh, six left, so. So I stealth again? No. Uh, I'll, I'll, you succeeded so handily with all those. I'll say you're able to oh, move nice. back, but we're taking the time to stealth. Um, while she's James Bonding over there and snaking it up, uh, three of you just watching or? Yeah, I'm just watching I'll her grab. work. Okay. I'll grab two more eggs. You grab two more eggs? Okay. So I think I want to update the plan, guys. Okay. So even though Am uh, I over there yet? You yeah, you're 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 like you're you're crawling and you're within a uh, earshot. Intercepting okay. them before they get to their ship. I think where we should do it, which would be more strategical, would be beating so a aka hightailing it the fuck out of here right now, but finding where their dropship is and meeting them over there with our mechs so they're on foot, we're in our mechs. They can't really say no at that point. Yes, I suppose that's accurate. I'm probably that's better than us trying to like fly success, and intercept so them all the time. Huh? Uh, I'm probably riding on my success, so I'm I'm all for it. <laughs> okay. Sure, sure, why not? Let's let's get the fuck out. Uh, you guys begin to leave, having taken oh, your wait. six. It, it. Sorry, sorry. I, I I grab one egg. Physically? Hold. Yes, to physically hold. Okay. To happen to hold. <laughs> All right. Does anyone else want to hug I an egg? <laughs> yeah, I hug an egg. All right. Nah. All right. Your arms are free. Georgiana, you hugging an egg? You an egg hugger? All right. Your arms are also free. Ryder and Nar walk up to you guys, holding this giant two-foot egg as you guys waddle out of the room. Uh, so obviously you can't move at a quick pace with this. Are uh, you guys taking the same path out that you took in? That was too steep. Uh, it, it is. So you guys could either take a different route or you could, which you don't know where it's going to lead. Uh, it, it's going to go boot up. Help me get up that slope. Sorry, what? what? Well, my, 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 like, cause uh, the, the shoes, cause uh, I'm imagining what I have on my feet is like what Star Lord uses to fly around. Yeah. So would that help me with using the egg, uh, like it's flying at a slow pace up the slope? So it would, so anything would help you guys, but it's going to need a roll. So for example, um, one of your aspects would be something along the lines of having trinkets or tinket, tink, something, some tinkering something. Uh, what you could do is you could roll and then you could say my robotic arm is like a Swiss army knife or may may maybe like robotic parts, r regardless. Um, you need something to that. So whether you roll craft or something else, um, it, you would need to reflect it in that sense. If that makes any sense? Because you don't, while you have the item, it, it can't mechanically do anything by itself because we haven't officially created it. You know what I mean? Yeah, I got you. Yeah. So like, like what, what are you rolling? Like realistically, your athletics is one of your better skills anyway. So um, that's yeah. probably going to be, yeah, you're, you're going to nail with that. And obviously your shoot super, super, super freaking high. Um, so you'd roll craft or something, but your craft is low, so that wouldn't really help you too much. You could, um, for yourself, roll, I know this is weird, but you could roll resources, uh, to create an advantage for yourself, meaning your wealth, how much money you spent on these things. I know it's kind of out there, but you would roll resources to create an advantage, and if you fail, then that, that's gonna suck. Uh, and then you could boost yourself, basically, boost your athletics roll. I mean, that's why I was saying pilot, because I'm kind of piloting my body with these robotic things on my feet it is um that's a weird stretch but we can go with that that's odd but yeah um the so are we taking the same path or different path i mean me and all just can fly up but i don't know about the other two yeah well i can't fly yeah right exactly can I try to make like a anti-gravity area so they can just kind of like float up they just do like a little jump and float up yes like so healthy. to to traverse this whole thing holding this many eggs um if you wish to help aldris and if you wish to float up at a normal pace rider uh i say that would actually add three ticks of cold because this is gonna take some time um and you would without losing any eggs of course because you guys would keep all your eggs um i would say roll basically create an advantage aldris for them and then they would just roll what I'd have them roll. And then they would just go with that now. And then Ryder, same thing. Uh, just create a manager for yourself and then roll. Uh, realistically, 
athletics make the most sense of just kind of zooming through. Um, but that will add three ticks to the colt if you guys want. This will we're ensuring we take the time to not lose any eggs. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And this will traverse the whole thing. You guys will be out. Back to your max. So it's not just right, halfway. Yeah. Uh, all right, so we'll so start roll, with roll Ryder. Yeah, Ryder, you're just simple. So roll pilot to create advantage first. Um, and I'll say you want just, okay. I was gonna say a one. <laughs> well, damn. Uh, so realistically, you can invoke your high concept. You are one of the best bounty hunters. So that, that would make sense, you know, being able to use your, your stuff. Uh, if you fail, unfortunately, um, nothing happens. So nothing negative, because nothing happens. And then you just roll uh, athletics raw. So roll athletics right now. Uh, if you don't want to boost your pilot skill, yes, you just roll athletics raw. And uh, for that, you want to. Uh... I said you're taking your time too. Excellent. Alrighty, Aldris, as uh, so you're boosting basically everyone, so I will say this is difficulty three. Oh boy. For oh, for creative advantage. Hey, nice. all right. Hell yeah. Okay. Uh, so with that, uh, Georgiana and Nara, uh, just roll me athletics with this boost, and then we should be good. Just once again, a two. Okay, Nara, that, that brings you to a one, but you're just short. So either, well, if you, okay, so hmm, I'll put this way. Um, basically, you guys are floating upward. Uh, Aldris, you're trying to like lower everyone's uh, gravitational pull so we can float up easier. It's taking some time, but you know this is actually, it, while it is taking time, it's safe. Um, you're not making any noise. You don't need to fight anything and nothing's getting in your way. You're basically floating over everything. And it's it's like, you know, you, you feel like you're cheating. It's great, but it, it definitely works. Uh, unfortunately, Nari, you're kind of off balance. Things feel a bit off. Uh, so I will let you choose either lose two eggs um, or lose one egg and add one coal. Don't you lose your egg. No, I was just, I'm not going to lose an egg. Um, I will lose one egg and take a coal. Okay. So there's only two ticks left. It is freezing. Um, her balance is time? slightly off Aldris because there's so much eggs. They're like whirling around everybody. You're trying to focus on your magic while flying at the same time. It's impressive you're able to do this at all, if I'm being entirely honest. Um, but all the same, you do do it. And all four of you kind of slowly float out with eggs spinning around you. Uh, but it is indeed getting colder and colder and colder. There are only two ticks left until you are com and basically until in your suit, you're just kind of completely frozen. Uh, getting into your mech um, will slow this substantially, but it is getting colder. You can tell the planet itself is actually getting colder. All right. How long until we get to our mechs? You're there. Okay. Well, so, I get in the mech? You, you, right, you, so you guys I, have I, traversed I past mech, all the bullshit. Let up, let up the eggs. All right, you guys load up your eggs uh, into your mechs. There's a bit of snow and a bit of frost covering them. But uh, fortunately for you, your mech is able to shake off the cold with relative ease. All right, so we need to find where these guys landed so we can cut them off before they leave. All right, um, you're not entirely sure happened? where they are, but Nara, your hacking lets you know, along with Georgiana's skill from earlier, that this is the group you all ran into and you hacked and you, you you spoke with. So you've got some information on them. And because of that, you actually know where they landed. They took the risky and quick route. Uh, seeing that there are only three members there, you're probably to assume they lost some people along the way. Okay. Um, That's unfortunate. unfortunate. Unfortunate, but sucks to suck. Sucks um, to suck. <laughs> I let everybody, I, I message. Uh, I need a hospital, yes. but not for me. Thanks. <laughs> Um, I guess I let everybody know. I hail them all on like a group chat. Okay. I'm like, hey, I've got some. Well, info. I mean, didn't we know that you hailed them because you were on the bridge with all of us? 
Yeah, but yeah. like I'm letting you know that this is who I did hit that. Oh, uh, okay. The, yeah, she's confirmed the, the information that you guys technically know uh, the location. Uh, uh, who's you guys... that red guy, by the way? The robot dude that you hacked in. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't know. Who is it? You don't necessarily have the time to look over that right now. As, oh uh, as I mentioned, the temperature is going down and down and down. Um, but you can tell that he himself might not be important, but someone's probably bankrolling him. Because from what you can tell, as a quick overview, uh, the tech he's using is top of the line. It's new, 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 new stuff. You notice that it was definitely a top to bottom uh, robot man. So there's there no flesh in there at all. Uh, but oh, yeah. even even a pure mech would have some issues going through this cold. It is freezing, but he wasn't wearing any kind of suit. So whatever he has, whatever's like running him uh, is somehow resistant to absurdly low temperatures, which is actually very I impressive. Know where they landed? You guys know where they landed? Yeah, it'll yeah. take you a second to get there. Uh, it, won't, it won't add anything to the cold, but you guys will get there. Okay, I'll fly, we'll, I, let's fly uh, over there. I'll let him know where it is. Uh, as you guys I, begin I give to the coordinates to everyone, uh, you begin to pilot your mechs. Uh, since we're now back in those, you can switch to your mech mode if you wish. Mech mode, activate. Uh, <laughs> All right, shift under turbo. All that good shit. All right, you guys begin to uh, saunter over as you do, as your uh, boosters kick to life and uh, warm your mechs back up. All the sleet and snow falls off of your mech as you all move forward. And you hear somewhat of a rumbling and a cracking in the distance, you're not entirely sure what it is. They're not too far away, but they're far enough. And you guys realize that you should probably kick up the speed just a wee bit before you get there. Um, up ahead of you guys is actually somewhat of a uh, another storm. This will be relatively difficult to get around if you wish to fly through it. Um, same song, different dance. You all have to do the uh, pilot maneuver to get on through there if you wish. Uh, or take the long way around. Georgina first. Yeah. All right, pilot it up. Uh, this is going to be the same as last time, except it's going to be three, two, two, one. All right, nailed it. And then uh, Aldris. Mr. Bird, oh no, is Mr. Bird dead? He thinks, he thinks he might be. All right. Uh, Rider, rider, there we go. Okay, you nailed it. And then Nara. All right, oh, got any left. He actually almost failed that. Okay, cool. Excellent. There we go. No, my roll. The official roll. Yours <laughs> is better. Perfect. Alrighty. The four of you are able to cut through the storm much like you did before. Fortunately, your eggs are safe inside your mech with you. You don't need to worry too much about damaging them at all. And you guys move at just the right pattern as to not damage any of the eggs. Uh, congratulations. Up ahead, though, you hear more cracking and a strange sound rings out in the distance. As you pass the storm, you see that, in general, this entire planet has actually begun to kick up a bit. You can see through the winds now. It's not like the storm you just passed through a moment ago where you could only rely on your sensors to get through. You can actually use uh, your eyes for this one uh, with relative ease. Uh, you see their landing pod, so they didn't bring a mech for this. Points to you guys. I discovered in ice, though. You see that from a distance, the landing gears and everything are beginning to shift as the bridge begins to lower the landing as uh, it's greeting the pilots on the return. Except you don't see them. Uh, they might be running or too small or off in the distance. It's difficult to I'm make out exactly where they are. Hail Aldris. Um, I'm, I'm going to pretty much tell him, like, to fly over, like, like pretty much, like, where everyone needs to position themselves. So I'm, I'm thinking, like, Aldris, you, like, fly, like, on top of their ship because you're, like, a bird. And then, like, me and uh, the rest of us are just going to, like, try to fly in front of them to, like, block them off. All righty. As you begin to fly forward, Aldris, you pause for a moment as you hear another great cracking in the ice. And as you do, you see a massive worm burst forth from the crust as it begins to wriggle and writhe. This isn't one of the bigger ones, but it is still very girthy indeed. It's maybe... Can I message Ryder? Yes. I'm like, abort mission. 
<laughs> Negative. Abort. The worm, the worm begins to writhe around. It's maybe a half mile or so away from their actual ship, and it starts moving about looking for their ship. You can't entirely tell uh, where it's coming from and what, what precisely it's doing, but behind you guys, you hear another cracking, and then finally, you actually see them break free. Uh, you see snow and ice uh, blast forth as you see lasers and such, uh, actually led by this robotic unit that you saw, Nara. He's firing something from his uh, arm cannon. It's a very, very, very bright and red as this, this beam of heat cuts through uh, the ice and you see only two of them running now and they have a few eggs with them fortunately uh, but behind them you see a worm that scales the other one is much larger as it pushes the mountain effectively out of the way this this this, this entry just completely melts before it as its teeth just spin and grind all of the ice and everything in front of it into just nothing hmm how big is the worm this boy is big as shit um he is you guys could ride him like a pony are we if you talking want to. Like, like dune worms alaskan right. bull worm i'm gonna i'm gonna come <laughs> up with the calm all right uh new objective um we're yeah, gonna dune, abort dune but uh uh everybody focus their fire on their uh getaway ship and then we're gonna get the fuck out of here this Over. one you wanna listen to me i see how it is now it's your idea wait what <laughs> I said to abort the mission. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I have no idea fine. what you just said. No, she, it's she, fine. Don't she, worry she, about she, it. she did say, she's like, I did say abort, though. <laughs> uh, right. Yeah, well, I didn't know how close the, the, the worms were. <laughs> uh, so you you guys are at least, when I, when I say a mile away, you guys are your max, so that's actually relatively close. Um, th This worm is a dune-sized worm if you guys were humans. So it's that big. It's a big sum bitch. Definitely abort mission. Yeah, you guys could ride this thing, but you'd be like, you know, yeehaw. Uh, like and ride this... it in our mechs. Y yeah, but like if you've seen Dune, the you're very small compared to like the size They're of this thing. Huge. They're huge. Yeah. Huge. Yeah. The other one is like a third size of this one. Yep. Not gonna. I'm not doing it. I'm going. A mile away. Yes, but that doesn't really mean much with the uh, the size. It, it, it could turn and get to you guys, and you could turn and get to it very quickly if you wished. I quickly do not wish. I go back. I <laughs> I back up. All right. And the rest of you? Uh, okay. <laughs> Question before anything else. Yes. If I did try to shoot at their ship, how challenging would that be? Um, are you trying to destroy it? I don't want them to take off. Mm, from this distance, I, 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 I'd say die? it... I say it would be a four in this distance. A four? Yeah, you, you're you're real far, and it's a rather stressful situation with these two worms. Okay, the big one is I unintentionally fly. moving toward the ship. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna uh, Georgina because you're the best pilot. Um, I'm gonna tell Aldris and Nara to go back to the ship, start loading everything up. Georgina. Uh, come with me. We're gonna fly not towards it, but like at a like a sloping up angle. If that makes sense, like a ramp. But we're going up, so we're getting away from the the the, the worms, but we're still like headed in their direction because we're gonna intercept. Okay. And you're the best pilot, so I trust trust you can <laughs> get to where we're going. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. Sounds like a plan. All right. Gucci. All right. I'll just Hanara head back. We'll meet up with you in a little bit. Get the ship toasty and ready. I'll turn up the thermostat. <laughs> okay. You, you two are heading back. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, quickly or at a leisurely pace? The the storm is beginning to kick up, so... No, Wait, we're, no, we're, I, we're booking over there. You're booking? Okay. Uh, for both Nara and Aldris, making me a pilot roll as you guys are trying to get back. Uh, if you're booking it, We'll say two, yeah. Two, three. Okay, cool. Y'all made it. Nice. You don't lose any eggs. Y'all are good. You guys fly back to the Kabuto without any uh, any real issue whatsoever. All right, Georgiana and Ryder, you see this massive worm. Uh, it, its absolute girth is preventing from moving too quickly, but all the same, he is hustling. The smaller worm is sort of like going in a drilling motion with its body. It's like, do, 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 and it's beginning to move towards the two survivors. What do y'all do? Uh, we're we're flying up, 
So okay. away from land. Okay. But yeah. in the direction of their ships. Yeah. Okay. So you you get you guys are now above. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. We're above their ship right now. Uh, I mean, you guys can can move there relatively easily. Yeah. Nothing stopping you. The no, no. You... I'm saying that's where I want to be. So I want to. Okay. Kind of intercept them. Okay. So then then your ships. Uh, sorry, your your mechs kick to life as you guys move to the location that you want. The, the winds are beginning to uh, to kick up. You guys can hold your mech still, but it's uh, going to get relatively difficult soon. All right. So if we can, if uh, are we able to see if they're getting close to making it on their ship? They're about to enter. Can okay. they kick it to life and fly away in time? Probably not, but all the time. All right, uh, Georgina, we're going to fly down and kind of like... Uh... <clears throat> You know the old uh the old way the pirate way we're gonna use our mechs to rip open their ship and take things okay oh, no, don't take things <laughs> well that's dare. if they can that's if they can take off there's a little you're feeling a little violent today captain <laughs> listen i i told homeboy we would get a lot of eggs and they have eggs uh, I didn't say we have to kill him. I just want those eggs. Hey, Nara, are you there? Hey, what's up? Uh, any idea where they're keeping the eggs in their ship? Do I have any idea where they're keeping the eggs? You wouldn't know that, unfortunately, but uh, presumably there are probably are no eggs in their ship. There might be like yeah, maybe two at most because they're bringing them back right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, you mean like where they would be storing it? Um, I mean they're going to be storing it in a ship that's going to turn into scrap metal, so possibly before the, they get to the, the ship. ship that's on, like how big, roughly, is that ship that's on on land right now? It is about the size of maybe, maybe take both of your guys' mechs and like combine their mass. So like bigger or smaller than the Millennium Falcon? Uh, a little smaller. So like Slave One, yeah, like Boba Fett's ship, a, a little bigger than Slave One, yeah. Okay. Got you. I say, uh, we're wasting our time doing this because that's a good point. The eggs aren't even on board yet. Yeah. I, that's no, no, what no, I no. Say. I'm like they're gonna get if they can make it to their ship. Then the eggs will be on board. Then we can steal them. Well, then we need um, to wait till they're just on in the sky. Then. No. Yeah. That that was the plan. Sorry. I, I, okay. I don't think that this is time efficient. All right, so if you guys are waiting for them to get into the sky, I'm just going to roll and see what happens with uh, the worm. All right, I'm just going to roll a straight up. You know, I'm, I'm just going to straight up roll. No pluses, just roll against roll. Okay, so this is the worm attacking them, and this is their defense. All righty. Uh, unfortunately, the worm is going to take uh, one of them down, and then once again, this is going to be, will they survive because there's two worms? And then, all right, worms got negative. They got three. Okay. Fate has decided. <laughs> All right. I mean, Red Robot Man has entered the ship. Yes, he enters the ship alone and you see it very quickly roar to life. And as it begins to ascend, you see the worm coil onto itself and lunge and jump. But as fate would have it, if you will, the winds push the worm one direction and push the ship another. And it just barely misses one of its teeth scraping up against this small, small ship. Were we able to see if he brought eggs aboard? Uh, from this distance, since you guys have been watching, you can see that he brought he brought at least three eggs, but the other dude got completely smashed. Whatever he had on him is gone. He is right, cool. nothing. And the ship begins to ascend and go in your guys' direction. He is by no means paying attention. You can tell he's just gunning it. Intercept the ship. Uh, intercept? Shall I roll pilot? Uh, yes, to intercept the ship, I would say roll pilot. Uh, he is booking it, so you're going to roll against... Uh, mine. Wonderful. All right. You both succeed. So as he is hurtling up forward, the two of you actually grab onto his ship. His thrusters bite and kick up against you. Uh, but due to the cold, he decides it's not worth uh, overheating and possibly damaging the ship. He quickly turns off uh, the, the thrusters and I'm just kind of leaves it idling for a moment. His, uh, his thingy. Sorry, what? I'm going to try hailing him. He actually hailed you first. Oh, okay. 
and uh, mm. you you see a small uh, image pop up of the individual that you saw. It is indeed the robotic gentleman, and no expression on his face whatsoever. He's just staring at you. Did you say anything? No, he's just kind of staring. All right, uh, Tin Man, I'm gonna make this super easy for you. Hand over the eggs, and you can go back to your ship, and you won't get hurt. And we'll go our separate ways. You see him turn around. He turns back to you. Uh, are you threatening him, or are you asking in a more nice way? Or I'm like just letting you know that this is what's going on. I'm not threatening. It's a promise. I'm, just, I'm, I'm saying it just in a in a chill way. Okay. Uh, but you're threatening to kill him, right? If, if if he doesn't if he doesn't comply. I didn't say kill. You are still threatening, well, him, right? I, I might be threatening him, but I'm okay. not saying so kill. Go ahead and roll me provoke. <laughs> That was, I almost had a plus. Almost. I, so I would say, due to the situation, uh, I will say you can invoke this for free. And the situation being, he's captured, and there's a worm behind him. So due to that, uh, I'll have him roll against you. Shit. So you can either go for a re-roll or a plus two and invoke one of your own aspects up to you so the obviously the plus two gives you a two uh, if you invoke this if you re-roll you might just beat him so All right, unfortunately the dice decided no, I, can't, I can't plus two that right you can plus two it if you poke one of your concepts one of your aspects and i, I would say I, I think you can invoke your high concept yeah I, I think you can invoke your high concept um so that would just cost one fate point and that would just kind of tie it up and as he sees you, you could see, once again, there's no emotion in his face, but you could tell he was going to do something drastic. And you see a quick curt nod. He gets up and uh, moves with utmost grace to the back of the ship. You, you can still see him just, just barely. Um, the communication here is fuzzy at best. Uh, you see him prepare something, and he hails your ship, uh, Georgiana, as the back of his ship is more so facing you. And as it does, you see the back end actually open and this small package uh, shoots outward and it kind of boosts. It goes like... And so it's like floating there and you can tell that he actually loaded the eggs into this thing for you to grab. Take it. Okay. You quickly zip on over. You see it close. Uh, his ship, that is. He moves back into the pilot seat and just gives you a quick nod, Ryder. Thanks for doing business with you. He's out. I zoom off of his ship. All right. He closes the hail. You see his ship kick back to life, and he flies away back to his original ship. See, you guys GG you wasn't that bad. We got the eggs. Yeah. I wasn't going to let you destroy that robot, though. Nara's fascinated oh, by him. Uh, don't worry. I didn't want to kill him anyways. <laughs> Alrighty, And with I that, you guys return. With the Iron Man. You guys return to the Gabuto with eggs aplenty. You guys got tons of eggs. Did you just say Gabuto? Gabuto. Gabuto. Look at all these eggs we got. Are you kidding me right now? Look at all these and, eggs. And Wait, where's all the eggs? Uh, four, four, five, and seven. And me and GG land on the on the ship, get out of our, our things. I, I give her a big high five for awesome <laughs> game plan working. <laughs> awesome teamwork. All right, Gigi, get, let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Sounds good to me. All right, looking down at the planet, you can tell that some horrible, horrible storm just now cut through, and you can't even see the worms from this distance, but you can tell that they are writhing and they are angry that their young have been taken. We did just take a lot of them. You did, but fortunately, you left in time. With two ticks to go, you guys escaped. Yes. And uh, with that... I'll say you guys uh, indeed return to Mr. Mans. And he pays you enough. Wait, wait, can we, can we yeah. play that real quick? You can play that real quick. Yeah, sure. Um, you return to the dance hall uh, as you guys pop back in. Uh, both Ryder and uh, Gigi, you see the, the girls uh, that you guys hit up and they kind of give you a quick wink and like a hello. I wink back. Uh, Aldris, as, as you enter, the bartender kind of gives you a wink like, hey, buddy, how was the drink? 
I get another one. <laughs> <laughs> this one's on the house. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, all right, you, you the well, we'll say you all ascend the steps to uh to meet with Teve, and he turns again in his uh massive chromium chair and greets you all. Hello, hello. What I say, Teve? I told you I get all the eggs. Look at all this. Look at all this eggs. Look at all this. I'm not even. I'm not even scratched. Uh, you, he doesn't have a mouth to smile with, but you can hear it in his voice. Oh, indeed. I shall be eating like a king tonight. See, this is why you hire my crew. Just saying. We're the he, best. The eyes in the jar nod at that. Oh, indeed, indeed, Ryder. I will definitely be hiring you in the future for other jobs of this nature. Well, I appreciate it. Keep it. It's lazy. I'm just kidding. Keep it, <laughs> <laughs> Keep it slimy. Keep it Keep it slimy. <laughs> All right, peace out. Uh, he, he, he laughs at that, and you can sort of hear like a strange, wet gurgling sound as the excitement builds within him. Uh, and you guys all indeed head out. Um, mission accomplished. Experience. Okay. Money rolls in. All the good shit. Yeah. Can we ask Nara who the red guy is now that she we have downtime? Yeah, I mean, I'm probably pouring over those files. I, I know uh, she's definitely looking at those while we're headed back. Yes. So for sure. As you go through all that, uh, Nara, you... Once again, you're you're interested by the, the caliber of, of, of his gear. Um, maybe who was bankrolling him. Looking at the other members, it's difficult to tell. They're not all nobodies, but this is definitely a mishmash team. No one was necessarily leading them. You think one person kind of put them together, but they, they've not worked together before, at least not to your knowledge. You get you guys get around quite a bit. Um, but as you look about, you actually notice um, that the, the name or the, the group that uh, bankrolled him is, is encrypted. Um, but you pause for a moment, sort of thinking, eh, and you type in a code that you've, uh, you've messed with before, something from your past Nara, and you see very plainly that the group you were with bankrolled this man for some reason. Mm. They definitely tried to keep it hidden, though. It was buried deep within the file. Like the, the uh, hidden grinder. from me. The group that she's running from, yeah. Oh, okay. All right. There's nothing something special about this we, robot, but you're not entirely sure what it is besides its high caliber specs. So we don't know his name or anything? It doesn't necessarily have a name. It has a distinction, uh, a number, like a serial code, but it, it so doesn't have anything to you. Robot. It wasn't like one Straight robot. Thing. No human. No human part in there whatsoever. Uh, if oh, okay. anything, it's an AI, but it was clearly built to do something. And uh, you guys speaking with it, it very clearly understood. It didn't want to fight with you. It had no ego. It wasn't willing to butt heads with you, Ryder. It very much saw, I will die if I do not comply. Uh, the... Glimmer, if that is, um, that you saw for a moment, maybe it considered suicide. Maybe it thought I can survive this by blow the ship up and no one gets the eggs, uh, but it thought otherwise and decided not to. So you're not sure if that's what it was, but you get the sinking feeling that that might have been what it was thinking. All right. Gotcha. Well, I guess I share it with any of them if they ask, but I ask. I'm going to spend a while on looking at those specs and stuff. Wonder if I could. Alrighty. And hey, uh, with a DG. Yes. Hey, by the way, I picked up this special uh, lollipop for you. <gasps> you did? It's light blue. It's, it's a freeze pop. Ooh, I like it. All right. End of the mission. End of the scene. Some time shall pass between today's session and next week's session. And in that time, you guys will have two milestones. Um, you guys can look it up in the book if you wish. You guys can write it down and I can apply it later. Uh, but basically, you're going to get two significant milestones, uh, which also includes one minor milestone. Mi the minor milestones aren't that big of a deal. Basically, you can switch out um, aspects. It's not really that big of a deal, but you can change out aspects. They're like small changes within your character, like your character arc effect. Um, the significant milestone, the important one, is you can add one additional skill point, which you can add plus one to something. Now, keep in mind, the rules for this are very strict, and if you read through the book, it tells you how to do it. Uh, so 
it is a pyramid. You can't have your plus three go to plus four because you need to have an equal number of the one under it. So if you have two plus threes and you move one plus three up, you have two plus four is now one plus three. That, that doesn't work. There has to be two plus threes and two plus fours. Uh, so basically what this means is you guys get two skills at plus one or one skill at plus two instantly. Um, so you, you also can't raise a plus one skill to a plus two without putting a plus one under it, if that makes any sense. So like I can, so if I, if I have a skill that's plus one, I can make it at plus two, but then I have to make something that's zero plus one. Bingo, exactly. It, ha it has to stay a pyramid. There's actually a picture in the Fate Core book. Uh, if you look up under the part that says significant milestones, the picture literally shows you what the pyramid looks like. I don't know why these character sheets don't have it, but it literally shows like it with the what the pyramid looks like and shows you why it doesn't work to just increase a plus one to a plus two. So um, basically, the number the numbers need to be equal. You always need to have the bottom one always has to be more than one above it. So you should always have four plus ones and then three, two, one. Uh, but now that you guys have leveled, that's going to break a little bit, but that's perfectly fine. Um, so you it's don't have to decide. It, it's hmm? like I want to up some stuff that I already have but because i've been rolling so good knock on wood i kind of just want to like add two ones to something right so the most important thing about fate is your stat is more important than the roll the roll can as we have seen pose you completely but your stat is way more way more important um if you have a plus five in something the worst the dice can be is minus four that's the absolute worst they can be that should not happen on average funnily enough the dice roll zero because they have a plus a minus and a blank um, so if you have a plus three in something, you're almost not guaranteed to succeed, but you're actually good at that. So pluses in this game are very, very, very powerful, uh, mainly because you're not trying to fight up against uh, an imaginary number. You're trying to go up against other people at the same pluses, and they might not be as good as that thing as you. So if you're really good at something, that's super important. Um, as I mentioned, we're going to be playing through this fate campaign quickly. So every time we play, you're going to get two levels. We're going to go really, 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 really quick so you guys can get a feel for the characters. Um, I'm also going to say you guys can have another stunt if you want. And if you want, you can also have an extra, but extras are attached to stunts. If you understand how that works, you don't need to mess with it. It's perfectly fine. Uh, it, it, it's extra, just fun bullshit. If you think of a cool idea, we can discuss it in the D&D chat in the Discord, or you can put it in um, Adventure Time, the personal chat, wherever you want. So we can all kind of see it and we can all kind of go like, okay, guys, does it sound good? Do you would like this? Uh, the one website that I linked in our Adventure Time chat is really good for extra stunts and whatnot. They're all very straightforward, but for example, Ryder, what I said to you is when you defend against an attack, if you like this, you can say, ah, yes, add one shift or two shifts of damage to the enemy if you defend and succeed overwhelmingly, because maybe you you, you think of yourself as like a, like a parry king or something. That's something you can totally do. You're more than welcome to do that. Um, but that would definitely be a stunt. So I will say with this level, if you want me to write it down, I will. You guys get two significant upgrades and you're also going to get one stunt point. So I'll put it in the chat. Um, two, I'm six, trying to think eight, which eight. one to up right now, Deceive or Rapport. One stun. Um, so obviously, this needs to be open for you guys to level it. I will keep... Uh, we're we're going to stop the game in like two seconds. Uh, it was super fun. You, you guys you guys did fantastic. Um, we're going to keep, I'm going to keep this open for like maybe another hour or so before we go to bed. Uh, if you guys can't think tonight, once again, nothing wrong with that. Perfectly fine. Um, you can just ping me in Discord and I'll upgrade your stats or we'll just do it next week. Not a big deal. Yeah, but I won't be able to do it tonight. Perfectly fine. Y'all uh -huh. did fantastic though and I will catch you all next week. Yeah, that was all right. quite yeah. fun. Have fun. Yeah. Bye. Bye.